Tips. Weather update brought to you by Newcomb and Company, where your comfort is their business. Visit Newcomb and Company. Dot com. Three o'clock check of your money. Dow Jones is up 236 points to 39,026. Market update brought to you by the Good Feet Store. Ready to step into a healthy and active lifestyle? Come to the Good Feet Store and experience the difference. Discover how a simple step can lead to a life of pain free possibilities. Don't make your future you hate you. Compare and find top credit cards, savings accounts, and more today with Nerd Wallet. Nerd Wallet, finance smarter. Marcel hooks it to Diara, straight on three on the way, bullseye. O'Connell will drive, right wing to Taylor, drives right baseline, got off balance, gives it to Burns, straight on three on the way, got it. He gets it to O'Connell, now left wing to Marcel for three, got it for the left side. Burns deep on the right wing, he backs into the elbow to the cutting horn, lays it up, good! Here's Jordan Snell, he's going to dribble out the clock, there's the horn and the pack's done it. NC State is the 2024 ACC Men's Basketball Champion. The Drive with Tim Donnelly on 99.9 The Fan. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. I'm Tim Donnelly. Dennis Cox producing the show. NC State's highlights from their ACC Tournament Championship. You just heard him. You want to know the the hardest question in in sports, the hardest question in movies and music and any form of entertainment? What's up? What do you have for an encore? You going to back it up? (laughs) What's next? Yeah. How impatient are we as an entire society, right? Pretty awful. Someone could put out like the, the great American novel. Our first one is like, well, is there a sequel? I finished reading that one last night. I would like another one. To read today, what, what what's next? Movies, goodness gracious! You better you better have a sequel before you write the first. You better write the second. So if the first one is successful, you have the second one ready to roll. NC State just had a great ACC tournament run. What's next? Oh look, the NCAA tournament. Oh look, you got Texas Tech and Pittsburgh. How do you follow it up? What's next? When you catch lightning in a bottle, there's a whole saying about lightning not striking twice. What are the chances of it being caught in a bottle twice? Do you try to run it back? Do you try to do the same thing? Do you know what I really respected out of Kevin Keats? What's that? In the ACC tournament, he did not get paralyzed by momentum. There is a temptation that when things are going well, you don't change anything, right? That's how you end up like wearing the same pair of underwear through an entire baseball season because you're like, things are going well. I'm not changing anything. I'm wearing the same jock strap. I'm eating the same cornflakes. I'm riding in the same bus. I'm going to the same game. I'm sitting in the same spot. I'm wearing the same hat, and I'm going to tap the, 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 the plate three times with my bat, and I'm going to dig in with two scrapes of my cleats because I'm not changing a darn thing. You know what Kevin Keats did in the championship? They played four games in four days, won them all. They were going into game five in five days. Do you know what he did? Changed his starting lineup. Part of it was injury, right? Jane Taylor had the ankle. DJ Horn was getting healthy. Mm -hmm. But really? (laughs) Right? It was everything. Just trot Jaden Taylor out there and bring DJ Horn into the first dead ball. Really? You're changing up those kind of vibes? But they weren't paralyzed. By success. They weren't paralyzed by a good run. They weren't paralyzed by by momentum. So going into the NCAA tournament, I don't think they're going to be paralyzed by it. I don't think they're going to try to do exactly what they did in the ACC championship again. I don't think they're going to try to do exactly what they did five games in five days again. They're going to look at what's, what's happening and, and decide what's best. And I'm going to advocate for something I advocated against at times this year. I think you put the ball in the big boys' hands. There were points in time this season where I thought DJ Burns was too much of a liability on defense and rebounding to justify having him in there as the offensive focal point. There were times he played 13 minutes, and I thought it was a good decision. I think in the NCAA tournament, when the most you can play is two games a week, 
in the NCAA tournament when the most you can play is is with a day off in between, right? The fastest your next game can be is with an off day. I think you put the ball in DJ Burns' hands a lot. Do you know why? Because he's different. Because he's unusual. Because there are not many, if any, teams in, in college basketball that have a guy that can adequately play DJ Burns on the scout team. Right? Well, there's legends about, like, you know, playing against Ralph Sampson. So what did you do? Well, you gave your scout team center, who was six foot five, a broomstick and said, shoot over this, right? Well, how do you do that with DJ Burns? You give him like two 45 pound plates to hold <laughs> under each arm and say, now, now throw around your weight. Is one of your offensive linemen 6'8 and 3'80? <laughs> like, just have him come in and just start j- taking hook shots. <laughs> That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah. Right, Texas Tech is calling up the co- the football coach like, we well, got a defensive tackle or something. Well, do you, do you, a Calais Campbell look alike that you can you can throw our way. Facing a team for the first time with little to no scout or little to no scout ability, that could be your advantage with DJ Burns. Because the thing is, it even takes you a second to figure out what he's bringing to the table. You see a guy that size, you think it's going to be all power. Then he hits you with finesse, and you're like, wait a second. I've been mentally preparing, like, you know, getting a good pump, right? I I, I was doing bench press yesterday getting ready for this. Now you're going to hit me with an up and under left-handed soft finger roll touch? That's what you're going to do? I used to say this about Syracuse in the 2-3 zone, right? I think that's why in basketball we've had things like, like, you know, teams that are willing to run up and down in uh, the seven seconds or less style. You used to see it from Arkansas or even somebody like Steph Curry. When, when you're different in the tournament, it's a massive advantage. The ACC has seen a lot of DJ Burns, right? The last two years, they've seen a lot of it. They got burned the first time. And, and, and see that? Burned? Let's right, see what we're doing here. Uh, they got burned the first time and and a little less so each time they played them, right? And And, and – even if you lost, you kind of knew what you were expecting. The teams you play now are not going to expect what they get. Yes, you need DJ Horn. Yes, you need Michael O'Connell. I'm not saying everybody else gets to take a day off and go, ha we got this giant different center, so we're just going to sit back and watch him work. But I think he can be the focal point. And I think that should give you some confidence. Kevin Keats on the level of confidence going into the NCAA tournament for the NC State Wolfpack. I mean, you think about it. We, we will look back one day, and it may even be tomorrow, and just just be at awe at the, the the teams that we beat. I mean, they they were they're great programs, great coaches um, who have done a really good job. I just think the difference where we were locked in. Uh, we we went through our conference, and we saw every team. We played every team. And we felt like if we played our best game, we had an opportunity to beat everybody. Now, I didn't know it was going to happen five days in a row, um, but we've done it. And, you know, like I said, it all the credit. I, I, listen, these guys and the other guys in the locker room, they do all the heavy lifting. I'm, I'm just, I just try to orchestrate stuff, but to put them in the right spots. But they have done a great job. They should be confident. You know what else they need to make sure they still are? Desperate. I don't know if they were confident going into the ACC tournament, coming off four straight losses to end their regular season. Hopeful. They were having some faith, having some some belief, absolutely. I'm not sure they were overwhelmingly confident, but I know they were desperate. I know they I know all those seniors. I know they were they were staring at the end of their careers. I know Kevin Keats was was staring at conversations about his job. I know that team was staring at the end of their season. I know they were desperate. I'm not sure how much confidence was mixed in there. I know belief and faith and, and, and you know, desire. I'm not, they need to stay desperate. Because the funny part is now they're kind of everybody's darling, right? Everybody's going to love them this time. Is it us against the world or is it everybody kind of together for us? Is a completely different vibe. What's your encore? I think it starts with the big guy. I think it starts with desperation. If you, if you, if you build off of those two things, upsetting Texas Tech, I think you can make it happen. It's interesting. We hear Rob Brindamore, the head coach of the Carolina Hurricanes, talk about in game, like, hey, don't take a breath, right? Because mm-hmm. that's when you start to relax. It's almost like, can't take a breath, guys. You got to like, hold your breath from Saturday yeah. for a week. Just, you can't take just... a breath. Like, you can't pause to relax. Like, you have to keep it going because when they went from Tuesday to Saturday, they couldn't do that. Like, oh, whew, 
We won yesterday. Let's take a breath and relax. No, you got to get up and ready for the next one. You just, basically, you just had to stay up. The By whole tomorrow, time. they're like, can we breathe now? Nope. Turn them blue. Yeah. Just, not going to let up. Nope. Not going to let up. up. I kind of like it. Hold. Just stay. Keep your breath held. Yeah. You can breathe when it's all over. <laughs> keep your breath held from the diaphragm. Uh, the drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Uh, speaking of the Carolina Hurricanes, Dennis Cox here for my friends over at the Law Tigers. Uh, Law Tigers, Tobacco Road, Harley-Davidson, Shiny Side Paint, your Carolina Hurricanes. They're all teaming up together to give the ultimate Canes fan a custom Hurricanes 2023 Harley-Davidson soft tail motorci- motorcycle. By the way, Canes are in action tonight. Come to the uh, Carolina Ale House watch party at the Garner location. The Carolina Ale House Garner location. The bike will be there. I will be there. Come watch the Canes in action tonight. Also, some other games might be on as well. But come watch the Canes tonight at the Carolina Ale House in Garner for your chance to take a look at the bike that you can win, which, by the way, is going to be given away live on the ice on April 5th, so you need to enter today. Caniacsbike.com. That's Caniacsbike.com for your chance to win this custom painted beauty of a bike. Again, Caniacsbike.com. Law Tigers, North Carolina's motorcycle lawyers. Law Tigers is a network of independent law firms who are members of the American Association of Motorcycle Injury Lawyers. Law Tigers is not a law firm. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. That's what NC State needs to do to keep their run rolling. What does North Carolina need to do to get back on track towards their national championship goals? Well, they can start by finishing this sentence. Fill in the blank, if you will. When UNC is playing their best, they are blank. We fill it in next. What? New scratch-offs are out? That means new chances to become a North Carolina Education Lottery Winners Club member. Yeah, in the Winners Club. I'll reinvent myself. I won't go by just plain Todd. I'll go by Toddrick. I'll get a gold jacket, play my saxophone again. I'll stop and smell the flowers. Call my mom more. Ugh, wrap it up, Todd. It's Todrick. This month's tickets pack $370 million in total prizes. The Winners Club awaits. Must be 18 to play. Approximate overall odds are winning range from 1 in 2.93 to 4.24. Problem killing help line 877-718-5543. New to the area? Let me be the first to welcome you. I'm Marcy Bailey of Bailey's Fine Jewelry. We've been family owned and part of North Carolina since 1948. We have a tradition of being voted the best jewelry store with an unparalleled selection of designer jewelry, fine diamonds, engagement rings, watches, and gifts to commemorate all your special occasions. We look forward to sharing our award-winning service and stunning jewels with you. Visit us today in-store or at baileybox.com to see why every woman wants a Bailey Box. Starting March 18th for three days only, shop limited-time doorbusters during Lowe's MVP's bonus days. Buy one Metabo HPT 15-degree roofing nailer. Get one box of Metabo HPT one and a quarter inch collated roofing nails free of $49.98 value. Plus, save $39 on a little giant A4 six-foot 300-pound stepladder. Shop these deals and more while supplies last. Lowe's Nose Pros. Valid 318 through 320. Selection varies by location. It's bow time. Finally, lunchtime. I'm starving. What's that? This? This is the Bow Jingler from Bow Jingles. With the same bold flavor as their chicken? The same. And fries. The same. Huh. Well, I've got a PB and J. Yeah, that's not the same. A crispy fish fillet dusted in Bow's famous seasoning. With cheese and tartar sauce on a fluffy bun, the Bojangler's back. Hook one while you can. It's bow time. There's no time like Bojangler time. Time to stop whatever you're doing and head over to Bojangles to try the Bojangler Fish Filet Sandwich. You heard right, the Bojangler Fish Filet Sandwich. A perfectly seasoned, light, flaky, wild-caught Alaskan Pollock Fish Filet Sandwich. For limited time at participating Bojangles. Make it a combo and add Bojangles seasoned fries and legendary iced tea. Hungry for Bojangles but in the mood for something different? Then it's Bojangler time. Guys, if your bedroom stats need help, let us help make your year a slam dunk. If you're suffering from ED, know that you're not alone. At Arise Urology Clinic for Men and Carrie, we can help you get off the bench and back in the game with Core Wave Therapy. We're the only ones in the area to offer this exciting, cutting edge technology that brings new hope to men relying on pills or painful injections. 
call Arise Urology Clinic for Men and Carry at 919-459-5400 or visit corewavetherapy.com. Did you know one of the best investments you can make? It's in yourself. At My Computer Career, in just a few months, you could start your new career in the high-demand, recession-resistant field of information technology. Isn't it time you invest in you and start a career in networking, cybersecurity, AI, or upskill to boost your current IT career? So, get the ROI you deserve at My Computer Career. No experience necessary. Start now at mycomputercareer.edu. Financial aid is available for qualified students, including the GI Bill. Progressive presents good news, bad news, dumb news, then great news. Good news. Your co-worker Kyle said bundling home and auto insurance with Progressive could save you money. Bad news. While saying this, Kyle was eating your clearly labeled lunch. Dumb news. Pizza near work costs $7 a slice, and it tastes like drywall covered in ketchup. Great news. You decide to see if you could save money bundling at Progressive.com and enjoy more lunches far away from Kyle. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states. Turns into a three-on-one and an alley-oop finish. Love to Baycott for the hammer. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Fill in the blank. This is what I left you with before the break. Fill in the blank. When UNC is playing their best basketball, they are blank. And try to resist the snarky correct answers of like winning right when unc is playing their best they are ahead on the scoreboard Uh, they're scoring more points than (laughs) their other team correct but i think you knew that's not what we're looking for first of all let's hear the recipe six of success from from hubert davis their head coach he said this on saturday for us to be the best that we can be especially in games like this you're just gonna have to defend rebound and take care of the basketball again Correct. I think we're looking for something a bit more specific to UNC. Uh, defend, rebound, score, hustle. Like, you know, I, I talk about this one all the time because it's I, I watch a ton of football. Uh, it is it is very much the color commentator that hasn't done a ton of studying of either team when they say keys to the game are start fast and turnovers for both team. I'm like, oh, you mean every football game in the history of time. I got you. Oh, t- take care of the ball. Oh, okay. you, you, want, you, you want to not turn it over. You want to force turnovers. And you want to be ahead early so you don't have to scramble. Gotcha. Nailed it. All right. Uh, Hubert Davis, would what was it, defend, rebound, and score? Defend, rebound, take care of the basketball. Defend, rebound, take care of the basketball. Oh, you're talking about... The the Globetrotters, the Lakers, the local high school team, uh, my my six year seven year old nephew's team, uh, and 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 also your team, right? It, it applies to every basketball team ever. I think it's it's a different answer, but it's a little bit more specific to UNC. My answer is simply: when UNC is playing the, their best, they are getting contributions from everyone in their rotation. Nobody is along for the ride. Some teams have role players who quite literally your role is to not get in the way, right? Some teams have role players and it's like pass it to the best players and try to look busy, right? That's not UNC. Every player has a role that's in their rotation, obviously, has a role that that is part of the, the multiplication process. Right, every player that adds their little thing, it, it, it gets better and better. Cormac Ryan was great at times in the ACC tournament. He was obviously another level of great against Duke in the the regular season finale. Didn't bring his normal juice in in the ACC championship, and it was noticeably absent. Right, the the amount of people that were like double checking the stat sheet to be like, is he hurt? Did he play? Was he out? Why does he only have three attempts? What, he's their shooter, and could he not? Didn't bring his normal juice. Harrison Ingram had three rebounds. In a game, again, the ACC championship, when Mo Diara was grabbing every rebound out there for NC State, what do I say about Harrison Ingram? He is what the game calls of him. All season he's been that. 
If in another, if the other team is hitting threes, he matches them with threes. If if the other team has a, an exceptional perimeter threat, he helps with defense on the perimeter. When the other team, meaning NC State, had a rebounder gobbling them up like it was hungry, hungry hippos, I was waiting for Harrison Ingram to go down there and say, "This is where I am needed." Right? He's like a superhero. Whenever, whenever the the city calls, whenever the game calls, that's where I'll be. Bat signal. Exactly. There was the Harrison Ingram signal shining on the glass. It was shining on the backboard saying, come here and rebound, and he finished the game with three. Elliot Cadeau did a great job setting everybody up, but what have we been saying about him recently? He His finishing package, right, his his layup package, the, the different varied uh, ability that he has to score going to the bucket as an undersized guy has been a difference maker for UNC. Maybe we take his passing for granted, and he had nearly double-digit assists, but, but four points wasn't enough for a guy that's been a spark scoring the basketball for them. R.J. Davis did his thing. By the way, he's an All-American as of today by by the Associated Press. Congrats to him. First well, team. Well-earned and obvious. Right? So he's a- ACC Player of the Year, first team All-ACC, first team All-American. He did his thing. Yeah. Scored the basketball. Armando Baycott, an honorable mention All-American, 18 and 12. That's a good double-double. You can't complain about that. You can get by if you have unreal performances from their big three. And I include Harrison Ingram in that even though, he had da- even though he had a down game. You can get by. But they open themselves up to so many different possible winning scenarios if the rest of the group shows up, right? Like they had when UNC was playing their best this year. In the games where they looked their best – it was very much the starting with the three main guys. Don't get me wrong. I'm not downplaying what R.J. Davis does. I just listed his accomplishments. You'd be foolish to downplay what R.J. Davis does. But what I'm saying is when they're playing their best, there's other guys playing off of what R.J. Davis does. Cormac Ryan is using the gravitational pull on Armando Baycott and R.J. Davis to knock down open threes, to take open threes. When they're playing their best, Harrison Ingram is is following the bat signal. Where do you need me? Hey, coach, what do you need me to do this time? And it's funny because I actually thought he did that in, in the semifinal. They played Pitt, and I said before the game, Harrison Ingram, Blake Henson, there you go. That's what the game is calling for, and he did a phenomenal job. Out into single digits, Blake Henson. And, and and for the one of the top four scorers in the ACC, yeah, like absolutely great job. So then to go to the ACC championship and you see again another kind of obvious need, need rebounding, need rebounding, need rebounding. Baycott got his twelve. Somebody else has to go down there to help him with Mo Diar. I thought it was going to be Harrison Ingram, and it never really happened. Those are the things that take them from a deserving one seed to I might have to I might have to write them in. Final Four National Championship game in my bracket. Those are the things. If you told me Cormac Ryan was going to knock down threes, which he's very capable of, if you told me Harrison Ingram was going to be where he was called, which he's very capable of, and if you told me Elliot Cadeau would have like three layups uh, in traffic a game, I'd probably pick him to win the National Championship. Yeah. That's what they're doing when they're doing their best. Let's hear from R.J. Davis, by the way, who did emphasize that he did want to win the ACC Championship. That was one of our goals going to the season, uh, but we just came up short. But um, Coach Davis always talks about our response and, um, and how we're going to respond when we get knocked down. So going into the March Madness, we're going to have to, uh, you know, prepare, come together as a group and uh, fix the mistakes that we made tonight. R.J. Davis, that was on Saturday. Yep, right after the loss. The drive with Tim Donnelly, 99-9, the fan. Uh, real quick about North Carolina. To me, when I think they're playing their best is mm-hmm. when they're turning defense into offense. That's when Another they're, they're transitioning, when they're getting up and down the floor and they're playing at, at, at an up-tempo. When NC State shot, what, 54 55%? Limits those opportunities. And we obviously saw the lack of offensive production from some guys, but when – when they're able to get to the rim quickly in transition, when it's Cadeau or it's R.J. Davis and or transition three-point opportunities, that's when they're at their best. And, and the two are combined, right? Mm-hmm. Because 
uh, you know, like you said, Cadeau in transition, Cormac Ryan pulling up for three in transition. Sometimes those are the ways they get the other guys started. Yeah. RJ Davis, he's going to get his in the half court in transition, it, out of out of bounds plays and what, whatever it is. Uh, sometimes the other guys, I mean, transition buckets are they're they're free bingo squares. Take oh, yeah. them, say thank you, jog back on defense. That's where that's where they make their money. Hey, Dennis Cox here for my friends over at Underdog Sportsbook. As we all know, sports betting has arrived in North Carolina, and Underdog is entering the game. That's right. North Carolina gets Underdog Sportsbook first. Underdog, they've been working hard behind the scenes to create a sportsbook app using their own technology for you, the sports fan. It's it's actually really simple. It's a fresh experience with straightforward language that you as a fan can understand and a design that's a clean and appealing look for you. And it's built for you. Again, as the fan, it's easy to understand. It's easy to follow along. I have used Underdog. And I'm not going to lie. It's kind of nice. I can actually adjust the way things look. I can go with, oh, do I want to go with the over-unders? Do I want to go with the pluses and minuses on the money line, things like that? Or do I want to look at, hey, if I put $10 on this, what's the boost on that? Okay, it's going to give me a two-times boost. I could win $20 off it. That is what Underdog brings to you. It's simple, it's easy, and you can adjust the experience for yourself. And you know what? There's some big-time college basketball games taking place tonight, some win-or-go-home type situations. You can use Underdog Sportsbook to bet on those right now. Download the Underdog Sportsbook app on iOS or Android. Sign up with the promo code DENNIS and use your first bet mulligan, which returns up to $1,000 as bonus funds if your first bet loses. That's Underdog Sportsbook, promo code DENNIS. My name must be 21 or over to gamble and present in North Carolina. Gambling problem? Call one 877 Seven 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 one eight five five four three, or visit more than a game dot nc dot gov, or call one eight hundred Gambler. Terms, conditions, and restrictions apply, and can be found in the Underdog Sportsbook app. The drive with Tim Donnelly, ninety nine nine, the fan, continues up next with a a lawsuit. Clemson, what are we doing? I thought we were cool. Stick around. Get ready for spring at Westlake Ace with the best brands like Steel, Ego, Scott's, and more. Right now, select Steel products are up to $60 off. And don't forget, Ace Rewards members save money every season. This month, 20-pound bags of Ace Bird Seed are just $11. Visit our two new locations at the corner of Rogers Lane and New Bern Avenue or on Leesville Road in Pinecrest Point. Westlake Ace Hardware, now with five convenient locations in Raleigh. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. You call that a precision stop? When a rookie stunt driver, just give me a shot, meets the trainer who thought he'd seen it all. Come on, focus. They'll soon find out that behind the wheel of the Nissan Rogue, with the power of VC turbo and the most fuel efficient gas powered engine in its class. Watch this. The protege can become a master. But this is no ordinary blockbuster. It's a Nissan sales event ad. Level up your drive with 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on the 2023 Nissan Rogue. Shop the Nissan sales event. Visit your local Nissan store and NissanUSA.com today. Auto Pacific segmentation excluding hybrids and electric vehicles. 2024 APA fuel economy estimates from 28 city, 34 highway to 30 city, 37 highway for 2024 Nissan Rogue. Actual mileage may vary. For well-qualified buyers, 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on new 2023 Rogue and dealer stock example, 60 months financing at 1748 per month per thousand financed. Actual down payment may vary. Subject to residency restrictions and in-mat credit approval. Not all buyers qualify. Dealer contribution may affect actual price set by dealer. Contact dealer for details. Ends 4 124 Imagine waking up this time next week and being 100% debt free. No credit cards, no car loan, no personal loan. Hey, it's Dennis Cox, Loan Pronto's Equity Express line of credit can make it happen. Homeowners are turning their home equity into cash almost instantly. With Loan Pronto's AI based system, you can get approval in about 10 minutes with almost no documentation, no appraisal, and no hassle. You can get hundreds of thousands of dollars out of your home. Use that money to pay off all your other loans. The average homeowner saves over $850 a month doing this. Listen, your home value is way up. You can use that to wipe out all those credit cards, get some money for a home improvement. Literally hundreds of thousands are at your fingertips, and approval is just minutes away. Call 919-381-1760, 919-381-1760, pronto.com 919-381-1760, NMLS 1661781, subject to lender approval, equal housing lender. Is your heating and air system ready for hot weather? Call Newcomen Company today to schedule a routine maintenance and ensure your system is operating at peak performance. Become a 
Comfort Contract customer to receive priority service and a 15% discount on service calls and repairs for HVAC and plumbing work. Newcomen Company has served the area as a carrier factory authorized dealer for more than three generations. Turn to the experts today. Call 919-862-3000 or find us at NewcomenCompany.com. Newcomen Company and Carrier, your comfort is our business. The Dugout Tavern and Grill, number one sports bar in Apex and your March Hoops headquarters. First and goal, just inside the five. Hand it off, Matha runs straight ahead, barrels into the end zone, touchdown, Clemson. The drive with Tim Donnelly, 99-9 the fan. What are we doing, Clemson? I thought we were cool. I thought vibes were high. Clemson just made the NCAA tournament. You went full Florida State on us. You didn't go half Florida State. You didn't dip your toe in the water. You went full Seminoles of Florida State on us. Clemson suing the ACC in South Carolina for the same nonsense Florida State is suing the ACC in Florida. Grant of rights enforceability. Now we can get into what that means, and it all comes down to media rights and who has the rights to their games and when does it return to the team and how much money is the exit fee and how much money are others, blah, 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 blah. We'll say it like this. Clemson wants out. Florida State wants out. We can laugh at Florida State. We have laughed at Florida State. We've done it. But I don't think you can laugh at Clemson and Florida State. And any any one team that wants to go rogue uh, for for uh, people that were active on the internet like 15 years ago, if they want to go full Leroy Jenkins, if they just want to be a lone wolf running out there into the wilderness, <laughs> how are they going to survive out there? But as soon as you have two pretty strong programs and they're rolling out there, it does become a bit of like, well... We might have a problem on our hands. So we'll take it more seriously. But that just means I'm asking the exact same question that I asked when Florida State started this nonsense. I'm just doing so with less incredulous vibes, less like condescending vibes, and more serious vibes. Um, how do you see this? How do you see this working out? Right, I used to ask Florida State, like, how do you see this working out? Now it's like, okay, guys, let's, uh, let's, let's gather. How do you see this working out for you? What can Clemson's high-priced lawyers find and or do that Florida State's high-priced lawyers can't find or do? That they haven't been able to find or do over the last year that Florida State has been pretty obvious they want out? What is going to change? Because the facts remain the facts. These grants of rights, whether they're a good deal or a bad deal, and I think as you see other conferences make more and more and more money and you recognize that the ACC is locked into this through 2036, I think it's fair to say it's a bad deal. But the moment you can back out of a contract because it's a bad deal, chaos will ensue in the business world. Suddenly, Jordan Poole's no longer a wizard. See, see what happens here? Mm -hmm. As so, soon as it's a bad deal, hey, that contract, it's uh, not market value anymore. I would like to not do it. I would like to not honor it. You're going to get just pure chaos. And not the good kind of chaos like the Canes try to, to, try to cause. Yeah, the bad right. kind of chaos like you're an opponent of the Canes. Nobody forced these teams to sign the grant of rights and the grant of rights is just a fancy word for a contract. It's an exchange of goods and services. We, meaning the ACC, has the rights to your, your media deal and the negotiation of it and all of those uh, rights that come with it in exchange for X amount of dollars that we will give you every year. That's a contract. That is an exchange of goods and services. Now, if you want out, I get it. You know what you can do is you can enter into negotiations with the other holder of the contract, but they're not going to let you leave for significantly less than they're owed. 
You want to buy yourself out? Half a billion. I'm sure that's a good place to start for the ACC. Oh, 500 milli. I'm not saying it would be a good business decision, but I'm saying based on the bad contract you signed, that's kind of where it starts. And the ACC and or sorry, Florida State basically said as much. Remember, they had their meeting and the 572 million is kind of what they estimated it mm-hmm. was going to cost. I think the ACC would cut you a deal, 550. You can keep that extra 22 million for yourself. Yeah. I like go, I'm I, go get yourself something nice. I'm <laughs> a quarterback in the portal. I like I'm serious. That's like that's where it starts. And you're going to court saying I don't think we should have to pay that. I you know what? I'm I'm actually I get kind of annoyed by the old Judge Judy clips. This is one situation where I do think Judge Judy should be the judge to hear it. <laughs> go on. Where she just looks at him and goes like, "Do we have stupid written on our foreheads?" You signed a contract that says the exit fee is X amount. You're coming up here saying you don't want to pay the exit fee. Do I have stupid written on my forehead? I rule in the on the side of the ACC. Thank you. Koosh. That that sound was the, the mallet. And then uh, what was his name? Bert, who is the, the bailiff? Yeah, I think so. Bert, see them out. That's That's what I want to have happen. I want Bert walking Florida State and Clemson out into the hallway where they then do the confessional in the hallway where they're like, yeah, I really thought I was going to uh, – she didn't let me finish. I really thought I was going to be able to, to make a better argument there, but uh, I guess I'll just go ahead and pay. I knew I shouldn't have broke that couch. It's always something ridiculous on on uh, <laughs> Judge Judy, right? I knew I knew I shouldn't have signed that lease that said if I break the couch I owe her $7,000, but uh, what are you going to do? And, oh, by the way – where do you think if Clemson and Florida State leave, where do you think they want to go? I'll give you you can you can pick two destinations. Well, in the SEC or the Big Ten. There you go. The SEC and the Big Ten don't want you to win these court cases. No, they don't. Because if if let's say Clemson wins, Clemson takes the SEC or sorry the ACC. Got to get my acronyms right. Let's say Clemson takes the ACC to court and says, we don't want to pay any exit fees and we want to own our media rights as soon as we're out of the ACC. And the court, for some reason, says, yes, Clemson wins. I don't know. The the, the judge is a booster or something. Clemson wins. The, the judge is like Trevor Lawrence's uncle. Clemson wins. I don't know. Just making something up here. Do you know who's going to be really mad about that? The SEC and the Big Ten, because the only way the SEC and the Big Ten can hold Georgia and Texas and Alabama and, and Texas A&M in the SEC and, and USC and Michigan and, and, and Ohio State in the Big Ten is through grant of rights deals. So if Clemson on a very public scale or Florida State on a very public scale proves that that Grant of rights have no bearing and they can't actually hold you. Suddenly the Big Ten is going to be like, yeah, well, we'd love to have you here, Clemson. Here's our invitation. Oh, by the way, by the time you accept it, there might be no one in the Big Ten because you ruined the way we keep them here. I think the Big Ten's exit fee is like zero dollars, I think. Zero dollars. I think so. I think it was Nicole Auerbach actually posted it out earlier, but their exit fee, that was actually one of the contentions by Clemson was that, wait, their, our exit fees are not like everyone else's. So, like, why, you know, that's like kind of like one of their contentions. Do do they, and, and I have to look into this, I assumed it was it was a higher number than that. Um, do they have the grant of rights, though, for the next however many years? It's like you can leave, but – we still have the grant of rights for the next whatever you know. I'm not five, entirely six seven years. I'm not entirely sure about that, but the withdrawal penalty for the Big Ten zero dollars. Big Twelve an amount equal to revenues distributed to the departing member for the final two years of its membership in the conference. SEC if given two years of notice, it's thirty million. Uh, if less than two years of notice is provided, forty million. If it no notice is provided, it's forty five. And and again, there's also the grant of rights stuff that goes in yes, there. But here's the, the thing: the, that's an addition to them controlling your negotiating rights for however long. If you're already making the most, why would you leave? True. You know, that's the thing. Am I gonna, I'm, I'm, am I going to just leave and take less money somewhere else? No, no one's going to do that. That's a lesson for business people everywhere. Yeah, you could have everybody sign a non-compete clause so they can only work for you forever and ever, or you could just make your place someplace that people don't want to leave. It's kind of one or the other. I look at it like this. Clemson and Florida State are trying to James Harden their way out of there. Mm-hmm. 
They're trying to be nuisances. They're trying to be pests. They're trying to be expensive until finally the ACC says just go. And now the ACC is going to be tied up in very, very expensive court situations in three different states because Florida State is suing the ACC in Florida. That's going to be expensive. Uh, The ACC is suing Florida State in North Carolina, right here in our own state. That's going to be expensive. And now Clemson is suing the ACC in South Carolina. That's going to be expensive. Two or three more teams do this. I don't know if the ACC can afford it. They might just have to let people do what they want just to, to preserve their checkbook. Darn it, Clemson. You know they weren't going to stand pat, though. I thought I thought everyone was kind of cool letting Florida State be the squeaky wheel, and maybe if they knock over the wall, we can walk behind them. Now we have two people trying to knock the wall down. And who knows if that opens it up for more to try to knock the wall down. The future of the ACC is uncertain, at best. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. The wait is over. DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of NASCAR, is now live in North Carolina. Hey, I'm Tim Donnelly for DraftKings Sportsbook, and now you can legally bet on all your favorite sports anytime, anywhere, right here in the great state of North Carolina with DraftKings. And for a limited time, new customers who sign up with promo code Tim D, that's T I M D, and bet $5 will receive $250 instantly in bonus bets when they place that $5 bet. DraftKings has the best features, including same game parlays, player props, and more with fast and easy payouts right at your fingertips. I love those same game parlays. Let's say you're going to place one on the Canes game tonight or a Hornets game. Pick your favorite players or or players you think are going to do well or poor, whatever, right? Uh, you can go over, under on goals per game, over, under on points per game. Uh, if, it's, if it's the basketball side of things, over, under on rebounds, assists, points, combine any two of those stats. Uh, you put them together. For those of us that might not be math whizzes, as you're changing your same game parlay, combining a couple different bets, keeps updating the payout. The little stake and payout and odds, it's updating it right there. So you know the entire time you're building your bet what the odds are going to be. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now using code TIMD, T-I-M-D, and bet $5, and you'll instantly get $250 in bonus bets only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code TIMD, that's T-I-M-D, no spaces. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 8-777-185-543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. 21 plus, North Carolina only. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. Deposit and eligibility restrictions apply. Terms at DraftKings.com slash sportsbook slash NC. NASCAR is not a sponsor of this promotion and used under license. We'll be back to jump back into college basketball with Duke has had a ton of time off in the last two weeks. What are they going to do to use that time to get better? Stick around. The always ready for breakfast deal. Going to bed already? Yep. Breakfast at Mickey D's tomorrow. So? Sooner I go to bed, sooner it'll be morning. Sooner I'll be at Mickey D's. This is actually brilliant. You can come too. Turn out that light. There's a deal for every breakfast strategist at McDonald's. For a limited time, you can buy a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit or sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddles for only $2.50. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Hello, I'm John Heaster for the Heaster Automotive Group. And you know, we're constantly looking for ways to serve you better. One of the ways we do that is with something we call a go-see. And that's where you select a vehicle from our inventory, and we have thousands, and we get one of our product specialists to bring that vehicle to you at your convenience. How do we do that? Well, it's simple. We have a group of employees that are evaluated based on the number of presentations they do. They're glad to do it. So it's just one more way. We get off our Keister and bring Heaster to you. Hey guys, sound familiar? Your energy's not the same, the weight's starting to creep up, you're a little forgetful, and to make matters worse, you're not sleeping well. Well, it could be low T, but you shouldn't go one more day dealing with these symptoms. Help is available at QC Kinetics. They'll help diagnose the issue and get you back to feeling like yourself again. QC Kinetics, the nation's leader in regenerative medicine. They use biologic treatments, encouraging your body to optimize the hormone levels you need to boost stamina, provide more mental clarity, and improve your metabolism. It starts with a complimentary consultation and comprehensive exam. One quick office visit, and you'll have next steps to swing those hormone levels back into balance. 
All using the protocols QC Kinetics is known for around the country. Most importantly, you'll be back to yourself, and that's important. So call right now for your complimentary consultation. Call QC Kinetics, 919-400-5473. That's 919-400-5473. Located in Raleigh, 919-400-5473. What? New scratch-offs are out? That means new chances to become a North Carolina Education Lottery Winners Club member. Yeah, in the Winners Club, I'll reinvent myself. I won't go by just plain Todd. I'll go by Toddrick. I'll get a gold jacket, play my saxophone again. I'll stop and smell the flowers. Call my mom more. Ugh, wrap it up, Todd. It's Todrick. This month's tickets pack $370 million in total prizes. The Winner's Club awaits. Must be 18 to play. Approximate overall to winning range from 1 in 2.93 to 4.24. Problem killing help on 877-718-5543. Hey, it's me. Your future you. You made bad credit card moves. Got no rewards to use. Ugh. Should have compared cards with the nerds and got the cash back you deserve. Now you have to stand to see your favorite band while your friends all got VIP wristbands. <laughs> Don't make your future you hate you. Compare and find top credit cards today with Nerd Wallet. Nerd Wallet, finance smarter. Going to work on Filipowski, trying to drive him, nearly knocked loose. It is to the deck. Power trying to get it. Flip joins the party. Roach out of there with it. Three on two. Stewart back to Roach. Back to Stewart to throw it down. The drive with Tim Donnelly here on 99.9 The Fan. Duke has, uh, I think it's actually, this is a lacrosse term, right? Um, Time and space? Yeah, time and room. Time and room. There you go. There you go. Duke has time and room to fix whatever they're, they've been struggling with. The problem is I don't think it's that easy to fix. Duke has played one game in the last 10 days. They won't play again until Friday at 7-10 versus Vermont. It's Tuesday, so Friday's not even particularly close, and they've played one game in the last 10 days. One game over a 12-day span, which is like 12 days with – with I'm, that's not including the game days on either end. 12 days, they had one game. It's maybe a benefit of going one and done in the ACC tournament after already being a team that pretty much punched their ticket into the NCAA tournament because whatever is ailing you, there's time in the lab. There's time at the, the, the back to the drawing board. There's time to fix it if it's fixable. If their problem was, I don't know, like dissecting his own defense or working against multiple defenses when teams throw a lot at them, I'd have a lot of uh, – I'd, I'd, I'd love their chances of getting it fixed because you can do that in practice. If their problem was defending the post or, or leaving open shooters, if their problem was reading the pick and roll, uh, if, if their problem were, were something tangible, basketball, X's and O's, I'd love their chances of getting it fixed because you can do that in practice. But if you've been paying attention, if you've been listening to this show for a long time, first of all, thank you. Greatly appreciate it. If you haven't, you can catch up on everything over the last few months on our YouTube page, 99.9 The Fan. We'd love to have you subscribed. But for months and months and months, we've been saying Duke lacks an edge. It's a toughness problem. We've thrown the word soft out there quite a few times. And I've explained that I believe as an athlete, soft it might be the worst insult you can throw at somebody. Aside from like getting personal and doing things that cross a line, soft is pretty darn bad. Can you teach a team to be tough in 11 off days? Can you teach a team to be tough at all? Might be a better question. Is that something you can learn or is that something you're born with? Is that something a few guys on your team just need to be uh, have it in their, their DNA? Should, you, should John Shire have tried to put them through like a, a Junction Boys or remember the Titans training camp? Little, little throw a montage up there? I'm pulling sleds and, 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 you know, the team that suffers together stays together style training camp. Should they have done that on, on 11 of the last 12 days to, to get ready? I don't know. I'll tell, I'll, I know what I would do if this were professional basketball. At the trade deadline, I would have traded for like P.J. Tucker 
<laughs> yeah. I would have tra- I would have traded for for uh Pat Bev. I would have traded for somebody with a little bit of a little bit of edge on them. A little bit of sandpaper on their edges. Something someone like that. An instigator in hockey, right? Somebody one of those guys that is, you know, I love them on my team. I hate to play against them. I would have traded for one of them. Can't do that in college basketball. Although I'm sure it's not far away. We're, we're probably like seven years from Kentucky going, we got one too many shooters, not enough big guys. And Duke going like, we got three seven-footers and no shooters. Well, <laughs> what can we do here? Like, I'm, I'm sure we're, we're getting close, but because that's not available now, I don't know what Duke can do. Other than hope they can just purely out-talent and kind of avoid adversity in the NCAA tournament. If they can just, you know, catch a couple lucky breaks here or there and and don't face a team that's going to try to bully them, that's fair. You know what's actually interesting? And and this just hit me. Uh, Dennis and I, maybe it's just because we were only in Duke after a a losing locker room, Uh, but we went around to all of the teams. We were at the media availabilities Mm -hmm. uh, at the ACC tournament. We were in the locker room postgame. We heard both UNC and NC State say, People think they can bully us, but we're the bullies. Yeah. That is directly, I believe, what Harrison Ingram from UNC said. Harrison Ingram said it, and I believe DJ Byrne said it. Maybe not those exact words, yeah, but pretty darn close. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was none of that vibe coming from Duke. No. And now I will say this. Uh, Jeremy Roach, I saw on Instagram, posted a picture with the caption that said, uh, it was in a story, I believe, uh, it said, stay on that side. I like that from Duke, right? Don't don't come if if you are like if right now they're probably talking to me, right? If you're calling us soft, if you're if you're calling us us uh, no edge, if you're saying we're not tough, stay over there, which is fair, which is 100 percent fair. Fine. Now, if you're gonna change it, that's fair for you to say. No new friends, get in the boat or get left. All of those things, all of those sentiments are completely fair. But that's a tough thing to do is to actually add toughness at this point in the season. I have no problem with you keeping that receipt. No problem with (laughs) it at all. It's it's interesting the the dynamic of of having been in those three locker rooms, especially during Mm -hmm. the ACC tournament, was that you could sense the desperation from NC State, obviously, to win the thing because they knew that was their only route. Mm -hmm. From North Carolina, we heard from R.J. Davis said, our goal was to win this thing. Yep. And they're disappointed that they didn't do it. We heard from Duke, ah, we got bigger fish to fry. Yeah, we, we don't play for ACC championships. We have a bigger postseason coming up. It's like, up. yeah, well, you know, our goal is actually the is to get to Phoenix. That's actually what Kyle Filipowski said. Our goal is to get to Phoenix, the which is where the Final Four is located. It's like they obviously had their they had their mindset on something bigger than what was actually there. Whereas State and Carolina are like, we're trying to win this thing right well, th- here. That, that's kind of my issue, yeah. right? Like I, I, when it comes to athletes, I idolize the competitors, mm-hmm. right? I love the story of like Calvin Johnson at the the. The combine wasn't supposed to run, but he was at the combine and he saw other guys running fast and was like, somebody find me some cleats. Yeah. Like, uh, like that is what I think is the difference between a good team and a great team, a great team and an all-time team, a team that has the talent and a team that actually wins and accomplishes their potential. I can't imagine being at the ACC tournament and within, what was it, 25 minutes of losing? They're already saying like, "Oh, we got bigger things to fry. We got we got a bigger postseason ahead." Oh, we, it's like that quick. If you're gonna be here, you might as well win, right? If you're gonna be in DC, you might as well. You're just you're just like that quickly turning the page. I used to tell my players when this back when I was coaching college across. I used to tell my players, "Don't compete when it's convenient." Exactly. Don't it's, compete when it's convenient. It's like, ah, oh, you know, we're playing a lesser team, but this game really doesn't matter. But I'm like, no, you go compete no matter what it is. And and. Can you just add that? I don't know. You can't just flip that switch. Can you just say, like, oh, now we're going to be tough? I don't know. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. I want to tell you about my friends at Window Nation. Not long ago, my wife and I and, and my son, actually, who enjoyed the science kind of experiment element of it, uh, sat down with Justin from Window Nation, and he took us through all of the different ways Window Nation, through 
through, I don't want to say just your windows, but they, they are window experts, right? They're not there to, to fix your cabinets, your, your HVAC, and your windows. They're there to do the best possible job uh, with your windows and doors if you need it. Um, but but what I looked at them is, is how much it can improve everything about your house, right? When it comes to energy efficiency, looks, usability for your house. We all have that one room that in the summer, right, the sun hits the right spot and you're just like, well, that room we don't use for four months because it's too hot. They can they can fix all of that, all of the different ways Window Nation upgrades just the the, the usability and quality of your house. It'll blow your mind, uh, whether it's Justin or one of their, their other employees coming to, to give the presentation. Right now they have a deal, buy two windows, get two free, plus zero down, zero interest, and no payments for 24 months. All of their professional installers, they have over 10 years of experience, their their teams. They can install your new windows in one day or less, and they come with a lifetime warranty. If you want your very own presentation, and and if you want to get a free no-obligation quote now, it's easy. Call 866-90-NATION. That's 866-90-NATION. Or visit windownation.com to schedule your consultation. That's 866-90-NATION or windownation.com to schedule. Football four is coming up next. Is the the new staff of the Carolina Panthers, Dave Canales, Dan Morgan? They've been they've been on on the facility what a, a couple months now, a month. Are they already planning for their first big change? Stick around. Our state's future begins with our students. That's why the North Carolina Education Lottery has contributed over $10 billion to education. Through scholarships, school construction, support staff, and pre-K programs, lottery dollars move our state forward, helping students become the best versions of themselves. Visit movingncstudentsforward.com and share how your student or school community has benefited for a chance to earn $2,000 for your story. Must be 18 to play. Problem Gambling Helpline 877-718-5543. Your new Academy Sports and Outdoor store is now open in Nightdale with great brands at the best prices. In here, you'll always find the gear you need to do what you love out there. Get it all at your new Academy Sports and Outdoor store in Nightdale. The moment we've been waiting for has arrived. Download the Caesar Sportsbook app today using code NEWNC. Then place your first bet of $10 or more, and win or lose, you'll receive $250 in bonus bets. Open to new users in North Carolina who are 21 or older. Terms and conditions apply. See caesars.com backslash promos or the promos tab in the app for full terms. Gambling problem? Call 1-877-718-5543 or visit morethanagamenc.gov. Tribal Casino Gaming Enterprise is a licensed operator by the North Carolina State Lottery Commission. Hey, hey, what do you say? John Forsland here for my friends at Buffalo Brothers. What a great time for sports. The College Hoops Tournament in hockey is in the home stretch. I call games in Seattle and around the country, but when I'm back in the triangle, I head right to Buffalo Brothers. Make sure you visit Buffalo Brothers for all the big games. Always great specials, like half-price appetizers, Monday through Friday, 4.30 to 6. Dine in, carry out at all five triangle locations and online at buffbrothers.com. Aw, man, now I want wings. We buy any car. Why sell your car at webuyanycar.com? Because selling it yourself can be, well, you know. Okay, I'll give you a half now. And? No, and just half. What? Avoid the hassle. Come to We Buy Any Car instead. Get in, get out, and get paid at a fair price. Yeah, I can't do half. I could probably bump it up to like 50%. Just go. Okay. Get your free online valuation now at We Buy Any Car. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same but is 95% cheaper and you can get it online? Go to hymns.com slash joy. Through HIMSS, you'll get a free medical consultation, discreet shipping if prescribed, and the process is 100% online. To start your free online visit, go to hymns.com slash joy. That's H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. Hey, y'all. Dylan at Oak City Customs here. With spring upon us and summer right around the corner, it's time to enjoy your backyard or outdoor entertainment space. At Oak City Customs, we offer a wide variety of items for outdoor living, including pergolas, shade sails, fire pits, and outdoor bar areas. In addition to dining room tables and other items for the inside of your home, 
We would love to make your vision for your outdoor space a reality this season. Come visit us at our showroom in Zebulon or check us out at oakcitycustoms.com. Getting your biggest tax refund from Jackson Hewitt can lead to some spirited reactions. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Jackson Hewitt is so sure they'll get you your biggest refund that if they don't, you get your money back plus a hundred bucks. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Switch to Jackson Hewitt and we'll beat what you paid last year, even if you filed online. Hewitt, yeah! Ain't nothing to it. Switch to Jackson Hewitt and pay less for tax prep, guaranteed. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. This hour on the Triangle Sports Leader is brought to you by the Ritchie Law Firm Injury Lawyers. You can feel the madness! Go to gotbrian.com. That's gotbrian.com. WCMC HD1 Holly Springs. Take us with you on radio, web, app, Alexa, and YouTube. 99.9 The Fan, the Triangle Sports Leader. I'm WRAL meteorologist Elizabeth Gardner. It's a chilly afternoon out there. High temperatures in the upper 50s with lots of sunshine. And it is a little breezy. We do have high fire danger this afternoon, so you're asked not to do any outdoor burning. Not quite as cold overnight tonight. We hit 41 under clear skies, and what a pretty day for it tomorrow. Get outside and enjoy 72 under mostly sunny skies. Weather update brought to you by Newcomb and Company, where your comfort is their business. Visit Newcomb and Company. Dot com. Four o'clock check of your money. Dow Jones is up 320 points to 39,110. Ready to step into a healthy and active lifestyle? Come to the Good Feet store and experience the difference. Discover how a simple step can lead to a life of pain free possibilities. Let's move the chains. Time for football at four. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Is Dave Canales and Dan Morgan, are Dave Canales and Dan Morgan, already preparing for a massive change, and they just showed up? <laughs> right? It's like, take your jacket off, stay a while, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, do you think Edgero Evero, their defensive coordinator, will be there beyond this year? What about the next year? Not much further past that. Are they already preparing and maybe even planning for Evero to not be the defensive coordinator anymore? Because one thing we're seeing is uh, a disparity in the the contract signed by offensive and defensive players. Offensive players might begin five years, four years. Defensive players, one years, two years, maximum three years. So if we're, you know, actions speak louder than words, why why aren't you making the lengthy commitment to guys you like on defense? Especially when so many of those defensive players have some connection to Evero, right? Coached with or coached by him in the same building at previous times in, in their career. Maybe because you're like, well, our next defensive coordinator is going to want to bring in his guys. Well, yeah, and also just guys that fit your system. Like, if you're going back to a 4-3 as opposed to a 3-4 right now, how, how do guys actually fit? If you're not married to his system, if mm-hmm. you're not going to go, oh, we're going to start our, our search for our next defensive coordinator by finding a guy that runs a blah, 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 it, it, then, yeah, maybe they are preparing for it. I have I have one gigantic question, right? If If we believe the conceit, okay, if we all join hands and say, I believe they're preparing for Evero to perhaps leave within the next two years. My next question is, are you preparing for that to be by choice or by firing? Are you are you saying, well, he interviewed for some head coaching jobs. We expect our defense to be good this year, and we know that good coordinators get head coaching offers, and uh, you know he maybe he's made it clear to them that that being a head coach is his dream. If it's by choice, I'm a little leery of just having everybody kind of on short contracts. Because why would you give the guy the opportunity to just take your whole defense with him? Right? It's like, you know what? I want to go take my head coaching job. I'm going to go take my swing. And oh, by the way, how convenient. Every main contributor on my defense is a free agent. And I am just going to go, hey, guys, follow me. Or are you preparing to perhaps fire him, right? Maybe this is a uh, um, 
Well, let's just remember the Titans as an, an example for wildly different reasons, right? There's that whole storyline in Remember the Titans where uh, Denzel Washington's character gets to be the head coach with the understanding by the board that his first sign of struggle, he is going to be fired, right? Like our hands were tied. We had to make him the head coach, but we can always fire him when things get tough. Now, again, there's obvious way different social ramifications of of the Remember the Titans movie and, and the plot line that, that it follows. But what if it is kind of like David Tepper told me Evero had to be the guy, right? He liked the way the defense played last year. When I took the job, he said Evero is the guy. I said, okay, I'll give it a, I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a chance. And already in the back of their head, they're going like, how many? I told them I'd give it a chance. What is, what is a chance? Eight months? Nine months? How long is a chance? What do we – we can move on next offseason, right? Well, Evero's in the final year of his contract with the mm, team. So that's the thing. He's in the final year of his contract with the team and has been interviewing for head coaching positions over the last two seasons. So, again, I think there, it's more of an anticipation of Him this guy is going to be a head coach somewhere in the future, in the very near future. Let's not put a whole lot of resources and investment into players that when we get a new defensive coordinator in just aren't going to fit that system. Like, why get – you know, four three or I'm sorry, why get three four inside mm-hmm. linebackers when if we're going to switch to a four three and they're they're just they just fit, they just don't fit the system. Not that they're bad players. Like for example, Jeremy Chin fit the previous defense before Evero came in. We all know how that worked out. It didn't, unfortunately. So again, it's the same thing. If if you want to run a lot of man to man defense, you can't get guys that excel at zone defense. It's that same type thing. So let's go down that path. Let's assume they're preparing for him to leave by choice because he's a good coordinator. He's going to have options, and you don't want to lock into the the uh, the system. Is this just how you do it in the NFL now? Maybe. Whatever side of the ball your head coach is not focused on, you just plan as if it's a like all mercenaries year two year max because uh, like like look at somebody like Ben Johnson, the offensive coordinator with the Lions. Look at somebody like Dave Canales who took the head coaching job with the Panthers. He spent one year with Tampa. One year. If it goes well for you, and by the way, he didn't. It's not like he ran the number one scoring offense. He ran like a solid scoring offense, middle of the pack, a little below average, and he got a head coaching job the next year. Is that just the Panthers? And they just have to. Like, do you realize how how lucky the Chiefs are that they have Steve Spagnuolo? a defensive coordinator who's running a great defense and for some reason is never on the hot list for any head coaching jobs and appears like he never wants to take any head coaching job and he's comfortable just saying, Andy Reid runs the offense, I run the defense, and oh, by the way, we have Patrick Mahomes. Because guess what? It's hard. Does this make you worry about the long-term success of the defense? If you're actively making decisions on how you build the team based on maybe we're going to have to restart that side of the ball in a couple years or less. Everything we screamed about having an uh, offensive-minded head coach to keep continuity and stability for Bryce Young in the offense becomes an, an exact flip of the coin, an exact opposite, an exact detriment to the defense. I'm not saying they did it wrong, right? Because you need stability for your quarterback. And if Dave Canales comes in and he's the head coach and he's running the offense and it goes well, even if Idzik, the offensive coordinator, gets a head coaching job elsewhere, there's still that that Canales continuity with the offense. That's great for the offense. And and when you have a young quarterback that's as highly drafted and as highly invested in as, as Bryce Young is, you have to start with the quarterback. But that means you might have just a revolving door of defensive coordinators. If it goes well, they'll take another job. If it goes poorly, you'll move on from them. You almost need a coordinator that's perfectly middle of the road. Always has the 11th best defense in the league. Never top 10 because that comes with head coaching offers. But never bottom 20 be, or, uh, because you want to you wanna win and you need a, a good defense. You need the 11th best defense every year or else you're going to have a lack of continuity on that side of the ball. 
And and as you heard, Dennis, you have to prepare for going from a four three to a three four, going from uh, you know um, uh, one of the the Dan Quinn, P- Pete Carroll, you know, three highs to maybe a more man. Like there's a bunch of different ways. I'm not going to just list defenses, but uh, but you got to be prepared to pivot both with personnel, coaches, and everything else. What a weird way to run your team. If things go well, don't worry. We're prepared for everybody to leave. Mm -hmm. If things go poorly, don't worry. We're prepared to make everybody leave. By the way, the offense will have continuity. By the way, if Evero does get a head coaching job this upcoming season, that probably also means that your defense at least did a pretty decent job. Yes. That the – Short-term health, you'd be confident in. Yeah, it would be the long-term health that you'd be concerned about because, be like, oh, I did great. Evero was the man. He called. He dialed up pressures at the perfect <laughs> time, and now he's going to be doing it for the the Bears. Just to, for no reason, pick a team. Yeah, pick a team. Then, I- then the Bears will have the number. <laughs> We'll have the Panthers of pick, course. the Panthers receiver, the Panthers draft picks, and the Panthers coach. Of course which would just be poetic justice. Uh, the Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Hey, Dennis Cox here for my friends over at Underdog Sportsbook. As we all know, sports betting has arrived in North Carolina, and Underdog is entering the game. That's right. North Carolina gets Underdog Sportsbook first, before anyone else. State of North Carolina gets it. And Underdog, they've been working hard behind the scenes to make sure they're creating a sportsbook app that is easy for you to use. They've got your favorite teams, players, sports, you name it. They're simple for you to go in there and make a bet. Well, guess what? There's a lot of big-time action in college sports happening this week, actually starting tonight. You want to do those player props? You want those parlays? You want to get in on the action, have that investment in the games that you're watching tonight? Well, guess what? Just go to Underdog Sportsbook app. It's simple and easy to use. I've used Underdog Sportsbook, and it's it's sleek. It's easy to follow, and that's one thing I, I like about Underdog. It's 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 a simple to use app. That's the best part. Now here's what you got to do: download the Underdog Sportsbook app on iOS or Android. Sign up with the promo code Dennis, my name, and use your first bet mulligan, which returns up to $1,000 as bonus funds if your first bet loses. That's right, up to $1,000 as bonus funds if your first bet loses. Again, that's Underdog Sportsbook, promo code Dennis when you sign up. Must be 21-plus to gamble and present in North Carolina. Gambling problem? Call 1-877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov or call 1-800-GAMBLER. Terms, conditions, and restrictions apply and can be found in the Underdog Sportsbook app. This is The Drive with Tim Donnelly on 99.9 The Fan, and it's time to cop or drop one of our favorite games where we line up the biggest stories in in sports, the biggest stories in the triangle, and we, well, we buy or sell. We're in, we're out. We're up, we're down. We cop or drop coming up. This is Gordon Miller for Miller Lending and Cary. 2023 has been a year to forget for those looking to buy or refinance their home. With rates at the highest level in 16 years, homeowners have been faced with the reality that their timing could not have been worse. The exact same scenario I first dealt with back in 1987 when I stumbled across a way to use a no-closing-cost loan as a workaround. With no cost of any kind, my borrower simply closed at the current rates, but as soon as rates fell, I closed them again. Two closings, zero costs, and I never looked back. Now fast forward 37 years and Miller Lending continues to help you avoid the pain of bad timing and higher closing costs. So knowing all that, I have one question. With the likelihood of lower rates in 2024, why would you choose to pay upwards of $10,000 to close on rates we haven't seen since 2007? So before you throw away thousands of dollars in needless fees, pick up the phone and call Miller Lending for your no-cost loan today. In Cary, 919-447-3377, or simply apply online at MillerLending.com. Miller Lending is an equal housing lender, NMLS number 250 2146. Wow. Check out all the great deals right now on brand new 2024 vehicles at John Heaster Chevrolet. Like 3000 off a Malibu RS or 4000 off the Silverado 2500 High Country. With a 2010 or newer Chevrolet trade in, you can get your hands on an Equinox LT for up to 5500 off, a Blazer RS up to 7000 off, or a Silverado RST or 1500 Custom for up to 9000 off. Get off your keister and get to John Heaster Chevrolet in Fuquay Verena. Together, let's drive. It's bow time. Finally lunchtime, I'm starving. What's that? This, this is the bow jingler from Bow Jingles. With the same bold flavor as their chicken? The same. And fries. The same. Huh, well, I've got a PB&J. Yeah, that's not the same. A crispy fish filet dusted in Bow's famous seasoning. 
With cheese and tartar sauce on a fluffy bun, the Bojangler's back. Hook one while you can. It's bow time. <laughs> There's no time like Bojangler time. Time to stop whatever you're doing and head over to Bojangles to try the Bojangler Fish Filet Sandwich. You heard right, the Bojangler Fish Filet Sandwich. A perfectly seasoned, light, flaky, wild-caught Alaskan Pollock Fish Filet Sandwich. For a limited time at participating Bojangles. Make it a combo and add Bojangles seasoned fries and legendary iced tea. Hungry for Bojangles but in the mood for something different? Then it's Bojangler time. I lock up my Old Spice Fiji Aluminum Free Dry Spray to keep that 24-7 lasting freshness safe for myself. Fresh coconuts, palm trees in the wind. It's like catching waves in Fiji. Actually, I just talked myself into a refreshing spritz of Fiji. My Old Spice is missing! No! Did you know one of the best investments you can make? It's in yourself. At My Computer Career, in just a few months, you could start your new career in the high-demand, recession-resistant field of information technology. Isn't it time you invest in you and start a career in networking, cybersecurity, AI, or upskill to boost your current IT career? So, get the ROI you deserve at My Computer Career. No experience necessary. Start now at mycomputercareer.edu. Financial aid is available for qualified students, including the GI Bill. Dennis Cox here for my friends over at Deep River Sporting Clays and Shooting School. Check them out online, deepriversportingclays.com. The best thing about Deep River Sporting Clays and Shooting School is the fact that it's more than just a place to shoot. It's a family. It's a birthday experience. It's a, a corporate event. Whatever it is that you want Deep River Sporting uh, Clays and Shooting School to be for you, you can have that experience there. Again, I've been there multiple times. I've been there with family. I've been there with friends, and I've had an absolutely great time again and again and again. So if you're looking for the spring activity, the summer, or even fall activity, whether you're planning a birthday, anniversary, company event, or just a get-together with your buddies, look no further than Deep River Sporting Clays and Shooting School because, again, it's an experience that you're going to want to have time and time and time again. Every time I've been there, I'm like, man, I cannot wait to come back. And I've already been planning. When am I going to go back to Deep River Sporting Clays and Shooting? school to get back out on their 13 target range or 13 target spot, their, their course that they have there on their beautiful 65 acre area. Check them out online deepriversportingclays.com. See all that they have to offer including their online store memberships and everything from times you name it. Deep River Sporting Clays and Shooting School has something for you. When you swing by, let them know that Dennis sent you. You want true enlightenment? Well I'm dropping, 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 dropping. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan, Cop or Drop Time. Dennis, take it away. All right, let's go right into the NCAA tournament since that gets underway today. Let's do it. The ACC will have two teams reach the Elite Eight. Cop or Drop? Copping. Okay. Give me um, two. You want me to name them? Yeah, I want two. You're going to say two are going to get there. At least two, I want to hear them. See, I'm... You know I'm an open book on this. I'm going to refrain a bit just because we're doing Final Fours and stuff tomorrow, and I don't want to give stuff away. Okay. That's why uh, I'm asking you Elite Eight. Uh, yeah, but if someone's not there, then you know they're not in my Final Four. Fair enough. Um, I do think the ACC has consistently enough outperformed their seeds and consistently enough gone into the the deep part of the tournament that I can comfortably say, yeah, right? Even teams that you might not expect based on the body of their work, it's like, yeah, but they're, the body of their work, for the most part, comes against the ACC. Now they're going to go take on some Big 12 teams. Now they're going to go mow down a Sun Belt team, right? Now they're going to they're go take take a, a, a team that maybe isn't as battle-tested out to the woodshed. So, uh, so yeah, I think they get two. I, heck, I'm, I might say more. You'll have to tune in tomorrow to find out. Oh. Um, but, but, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of the ACC and the tournament. Okay. You know what's a bummer? Everyone in my family are big ACC fans. Uh, we have uh, Virginia Tech grads, Duke grads, UNC grads, uh, people that grew up around here, people that were season ticket holders. State grads. With state grads. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, the order got confused. Yeah. I mean, we've got we've got ACC in our blood, right? My my grandfather literally poured the concrete for the Dean Dome. Um, so when we have our family bracket pool every year, it's like – well, three-fourths of the league has three ACC teams in the Final Four, so none of us can make up any points on anybody because we all have the exact same Final Four team. 
Uh, so it's, it's uh, you know, whoever's winning by, like, the second weekend just wins the whole thing because you can't make up any ground moving forward because we all watched the same games and we're impressed by the same teams all year. All right, I'm going to stick with the ACC here. All right. Clemson and Florida State will be gone from the ACC in five years. Better question. Do conferences exist? Actually, uh, here's what I'm going to say. This is I'm, – I'm breaking all of the rules. Normally, I'm so aggressively either side. Yeah. Um, can you be more specific? Are we talking football? No, just gone. Just like as, as, as a school, they're gone. I think their football teams will be gone. I think there will be a football separate – Super something, but I, you know, I don't, I don't see a reason why like their, you know, baseball teams have to leave. I don't see why their volleyball teams can't be in conference. So they will still be affiliated with the Atlantic Coast Conference in some way, which I guess makes it a drop. But I, I do think there's going to be drastic, drastic changes to the way football operates in in college football, uh, in college sports as a whole. So you know, they'll be chosen for whatever the super duper conference is. By the way, the college football playoff on ESPN announced a new, I think it was like mm-hmm. $7.8 billion deal that starts in 2026 to keep the college football playoff as part of like ESPN, mm-hmm. ABC, you know, that whole family of networks. It's a lot of cash, which by the way, it doesn't, it's not a coincidence to me that the Clemson lawsuit dropped today. Which we talked about earlier. Which we did. And by the way. It appears that SEC and Big Ten schools will get twenty-one million dollars a year based off this deal. ACC schools, thirteen. Big Twelve schools, True. about twelve million dollars per year. So yeah, it's just like even the college football playoff is just like, yeah, hey, ACC, you're not. You're I mean, not. the the big budgets in in college football or college athletics, like mm-hmm. the Texas and Texas A and M, are well over two hundred million dollars. What's eight million difference? Clemson, relax. All right, next one. We just talked a little bit about the Carolina. It just just in, in in my experience, you know, with arguments, people usually react well when you tell them to re- relax, right? right? Calm down, relax. That usually gets them to calm down and relax. That doesn't make them more angry by any, any stretch. R-E-L-A-X, relax. R-E-L-A-X. Let's go to the Carolina Panthers. The Let's, Carolina let's Panthers. Go will sign another wide receiver before the NFL draft in April. Copper drop. Ooh. Before the draft. Mm-hmm. I'm going to drop it. Okay. I mean, if they sign like a kick returner slash, I'm, I'm not like, – They already have two of those on the roster. I'm, I'm not talking – like no one's significant until after the draft. I think they want to know – I think they want to be able to take best wide receiver available at 33 or 39. Mm-hmm. And – to do that, you don't want to like you need to know the archetype, right? So, you know, say you bring in Mike Williams, and then the the wide receiver available is uh, Keon Coleman that they like, and it's like, wait a second, now we have two six four jump ball specialists. What are we gonna do with that? So I think they'll wait to, and there'll be some veterans kicking around, whether it's an Odell Beckham Jr., whether it's a, a Tyler Boyd, whether it's a Michael Gallup. There'll be guys kicking around after the draft, I believe, that'll be patient with where they sign. So I think to free up their options on who they draft at wide receivers so they can go best receiver available, they won't sign till after the draft. So you don't think they're going to sign Mike Williams or Michael Gallup, even though they're visiting sometime here in the near future? Not before the draft. Okay. I think Gallup might be a guy who waits around. He, he might say, like, hey, let me see if any receivers get hurt in camp, then I can I can jump in. Uh, I, I, I There's options there. I just don't think before the draft because, you know, you don't want to take the small, fast guy, and then all of a sudden Xavier Worthy is sitting there at 33, and you're like, oh, man, now we have redundant – like, we're still going to take Worthy, but now this guy's role is going to be diminished and we didn't expect it. So, if you wait till after the draft, you can you can build around your drafted player. Okay, next one here. The NCAA tournament actually gets underway tonight. Kind of. It does. It's the, it's the play-in games. It's the Virginia, first round. The first. It's the, the – they're playing. <laughs> uh, Virginia's in action. Virginia will beat Colorado State. Cop or drop? Copping. Okay. Uh, and, and they're just going to Virginia all over themselves. It, it's it's just going to be 46-44. Don't even want to think about that. It's it's just going to be – but it's it's going to work because Virginia – I mean, I know they have the whole – like they lost to a 16 seed that one time. 
But they also have the whole national championship since then. Uh, Tony Bennett knows what he's doing. I think they win the game. Okay. By the way. Reese Beekman's good. Reese Beekman is very, very good. By the way, did you? it's weird because I've, I've been asking you this for consecutive weeks <laughs> for how, I don't know how long. Like, ACC will get four or more. Dude, I was like, we say, were like, <laughs> and we were at four. It's like, well. Finally, I can get it right this time. Ask me. ACC going to get four or more? <laughs> yes, they will. <laughs> Watch, now Now Virginia's going to lose, and I'm going to be like, I didn't call it the, the NCAA tournament. I said it was just a play-in game. Final one here. Carolina, I'm going to go back to the Carolina Panthers here. Word. They have picks 33 and 39 in the draft, as you just mentioned a moment ago. Yep. Copper drop, they trade one of those picks. Ooh. Copping. Okay. Um, Which one you think? Most likely 33. It's the most most traded pick every year because you have all night to negotiate it. Mm-hmm. And I think the wide receiver position is strong enough that you know there could five six could go in the first round and you'd still feel comfortable with who might fall to 39. So that would make you a little bit more comfortable to move off of 33. There might be some really good ones that dropped into the third round. Yeah, and if you drop from 33 to 45. You might still think like, hey, we're going to get one of the guys we thought we were going to take at 33. Uh, There's a lot of good receivers in this draft. It's a very, very deep receiver draft. Um, I'm hearing not as deep the following year, but it's always a little difficult to to judge. But better running back, so who knows? You think they draft two? I think they draft two. I don't think at 33 and 39. But like just two in the draft, they take two receivers? Yes, yes. I think they – I think I'm with you on that one. Especially because Thielen's on the older side of things. Deontay Johnson's only has one year left on his on the deal, and they just traded for him. And who knows what kind of and, baggage he's bringing with him. And the NFL is a copycat league. And Tank mm-hmm. Dell went mid round. Puka Nakua went late round. There, there's it's a copycat league, right? Everybody's going to be chasing the the stud wide receiver late in the draft this year. There it is, copper drop. The drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. I want to tell you about my friend Coach P and everyone over at Capital Financial Advisory Group. I'm encouraging you to go see Coach Pete's giant eight-foot whiteboards in their office so you can physically see your financial plan come to life with a process designed to remove the complexities and confusion that oftentimes comes with retirement planning. Coach breaks it down with three easy colors, red, yellow, green. If you're curious to see for itself what the colors mean, give them a call. 800-691-3215. If you're like me, right, back when I was a player, coach could describe it to me. We're going to have a a three-step slant on this side. We're going to have the the arrow route. We're going to do all this. We're going to do all that. And I'd be, my head would be spinning. He'd walk up to the whiteboard. He'd draw the play one time. I'd go, I'm never going to forget that. That all makes a ton of sense. They do that for you at Capital Financial Advisory Group. Coach Pete is giving away 10 golden tickets to get you some of his best-selling books, plus his box sets that have workbooks and DVDs as well as a $1,000 consultation process. All you have to do is call 800-691-3215 and mention me, say Tim sent you, or you can just text my name, T-I-M, to 600-700. Again, that's 800-691-3215 or text my name, T-I-M, Tim, to 600-700. We'll be back with more of The Drive with Tim Donnelly here on 99.9 The Fan, including a call to arms for the five ACC teams in the NCAA tournament. It's next. How a busy baker beat back foot pain. Meet Sanja. Brownies, cupcakes, cookies. I love to bake. There have been times when I've been on my feet for at least 12 hours. And that's how things went from sweet to sour. I had excruciating pain in both feet to a point where I had to limp out of the kitchen. So she called up a former foot pain sufferer, her big sister. She told me, you need to go to the Good Feet store and get some arch supports. Smart lady. It was an awesome experience. Scott took great care of my feet. He's the arch support specialist who fitted her. He was very patient, very knowledgeable. Scott was the man. Now Sanja can have her cake and bake it too. Oh yeah, my feet are very happy now. You're gonna have to make some cookies for Scott. I've already done that. Of course you did. The Good Feet Store is in Chapel Hill near Whole Foods, in Fayetteville in the Freedom Town Center, and in Raleigh in the Midtown East Shopping Center. Book your appointment today at goodfeet.com. The Good Feet Store. Hey, didn't see you downtown last weekend. Nope, we had a night out at the new Salt and Lime by the Raleigh Grand. What? 
No sharkies? Well, I love sharkies, but we had to try Salt and Lime's Baja Mexican menu. The food and atmosphere there is great. Just love it. And we had a pre-dinner drink around the corner at that new wine bar, The Mix. It's almost next door to Sharky's. Excellent drinks, great selection of wine, and they had live music. Well, that's perfect. It was. Next week, it's House of Hops. I just love the relaxed atmosphere, and the beer selection is out of this world. Then Sharky's for some late night entertainment. Every place is so convenient. I know. They're just a stone's throw from each other. Yeah. Wait, I guess it would depend on the size of the stone and, of course, who's throwing it. True. The closer they are, the larger the stone could be, right? And if my husband is throwing it, it maybe needs to be a small stone. <laughs> <laughs> Salt and Lime, The Mix, House of Hops, and Sharkies, just a stone's throw from each other. Check them out online and visit soon. North Carolina, your wait is over. FanDuel, America's number one sports book, is officially live here in the Old North State. And right now, new customers can get $250 in bonus bets guaranteed when you wager your first five. Just go to FanDuel.com, promo code Adam Gold to sign up. Then you can bet on everything from the money line, over-unders, which team will cut the nets down, all on an app that's safe, secure, and super easy to use. Take the court with $250 in bonus bets, win or lose, when you place your first $5 wager. Visit FanDuel.com, promo code Adam Gold to get started. FanDuel is America's number one sports book. You must be 21 or older and present in North Carolina. First online real money wager only, $10 deposit required. Bonuses issued as non-withdrawable bonus bets that expire seven days after receipt. Restrictions apply. See full terms at FanDuel.com slash sportsbook. Gambling problem? Call 877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. This is The Drive with Tim Donnelly on 99.9 The Fan. It is also a hockey night in Carolina, everybody. You want to make sure you keep it tuned right here uh, to 99.9 The Fan as the Canes take on the Islanders, and you have to have it tuned in right mm-hmm. here if you want to hear uh, Mike Maniscalco, Trip Tracy, and the crew uh, because it is a, a non bally's game. Yes, it is a ESPN Plus Hulu game, but you should just keep it locked in right here on the fan. You can always listen to the the, the squad, the the guys right here on ninety nine. And it's a seven thirty puck drop, which means Storm watches at seven with Adam Gold. So it's puck drops a little thirty minutes a little later, later than normal. So don't <laughs> don't freak out at six thirty. Yeah, what's going on? Where is it? <sighs> no, it's coming. It's on the way. It's in the mail. The drive with Tim Donnelly, ninety nine nine. The fan. You know what else is in the mail? Five Atlantic Coast Conference basketball teams, five ACC teams to the NCAA tournament. Take that, Joe Lenardi. Let's go. Take Eat that. that bracketology. Take that Big East in your three schools. How's that taste? Now it's time to back it up. Yeah, well, there's that. Uh, the AC, what I've said for years and years and years is the ACC leaves you battle tested, right? You may have five more losses in the ACC than you would have had if you played in some of these other conferences. But if you can overcome that and still make the NCAA tournament, you're going to be better prepared for it. Right? Does that, that, that makes sense. Just inherently it makes sense, right? The heart, uh, you know, uh, Michael Jordan, right? I'm quoting my MJ here. Uh, he's a little credible with the whole winning thing, right? Uh, he used to say that practice was harder than the game. And he would do that intentionally. So in the game, it was like, oh, this is easy, right? It's like swinging a baseball bat with the, the heavy donut on there, right? You do that in practice a few times, and you walk up to the plate, you take the donut off. feels like you're swinging a toothpick. The ACC is the bat with the donut on it. So if you're, if you're playing in the ACC, it's, it's hard. It's heavy. It's a slog. Then you get to the NCAA tournament. While everyone else is like, oh, my gosh, this is intense. Oh, my gosh, this this is hard. This is heavy. This is difficult. You're going like, actually, it feels like I'm swinging a toothpick up here. It's actually easier. That's that, That's that been my take for years. And and for so often, for, for so long, it seemed like everybody agreed with me until recently. Recently, everyone's like, well, actually, they didn't face anybody. They're in the ACC. On any given night in the the Atlantic Coast Conference, you're going to get a great game. On any given night, you're going to get an unexpected game. On any given night, you could have uh, a former five-star recruit score 30 or 
the sixth man off the bench scored 30 because everybody that goes to play in the ACC knows what's up. And that is exactly what the NCAA tournament is for everyone. Not just ACC teams, but everyone, right? You never know who's going to be the star. You go to a round of 64 or a round of 32 game, it might be somebody off the bench for St. Peter's that'll become a star. Remember the the, the guy with the mustache that, that stuck his tongue out after making shots? He wasn't the best player on St. Peter's. But he became a star because it's it's that's what the tournament does, the unexpected. You've been seeing that in the ACC all season. The ACC received more bids into the NCAA tournament than most expected. Kind of the over-under was set at three and a half or four. They got five. You have to vindicate that decision so the committee continues to support the ACC. They're humans, right? They put, they put 10 teams from one conference in. They all lose the first weekend. The, I, the human elements will refuse to allow them to put 10 teams from that conference in the next year. So if they put five in, which is more than the experts expected, you have to validate that decision by playing well, which will thus increase your chances in the future. It shouldn't. It should be the resume every year is judged independently. But as I've said time and time and time, Time and time again, the committee members, they're humans. They're people. They're like you and me. I don't know about you. If I get burned by something, I'm more skeptical the next time. If I buy from an online store and and I get a trash product, I'm not going to rush to go back to that online store. If I put five from a conference in and they look like they deserve one bid, I'm not going to feel great about putting five, six, seven, eight, nine in next year. So I'm I'm going to actually ask him even more. I'm not even saying just just vindicate the decision. I'm saying over vindicate the decision. I'm saying over validate the decision. If you're a four seed Duke, play like a one seed. Yeah. If you're an eleven seed NC State, play like a four seed. You have to overperform your seeding. So, the ACC gets back to what it was. Mm-hmm. Eight, nine teams in the in, in the NCAA tournament, no doubters. It used to be if you made Thursday in the a- in ACC tournament, a pretty good chance you were going to make the NCAA tournament. There was talk about NC State making it all the way to the championship, and if they didn't win, they weren't in. That has to stop, and the only way to do that is to continue to do what you've been doing, which is take whatever opportunities you get in the the NCAA tournament and run with them further than your seed says you should. Don't don't go chalk, right? Don't go like, if you're state, don't go, all right, we're going to beat Texas Tech. What an upset. We beat the sixth seed. Well, then you get Kentucky next. Beat them too. Beat them too. Even more so. So then I can sit up here and brag. Support those who support you, right? That's that's how life works. So those those of us fans out there, and I I hear a lot of you on social media, uh, media members that champion the ACC, that speak logically about the accomplishments of the ACC, their necks are out on the line a little bit here. I I uh, Jay Billis. Granted. Comes from an ACC background, so, mm-hmm. you know, just call call a spade a spade. Uh, he was advocating for Pitt. He was, he was complaining on ESPN about the net ranking system, which the more the merrier on that one. Anybody that wants to complain about the net ranking system, you're going you're gonna to hear a, I second that from me. Been a lot of coaches complaining about it too, as they should. And and so Billis was given that 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 work to the the net ranking system, and then he said. I could name three or four teams in the NCAA tournament that are less deserving than Pitt. Michigan State. He, he, Jay I'll Billis, name it. Jay Billis was a bit more uh, 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 classy than our very own <laughs> Dennis Scott. Nope, I'm not. He Mm-mm. said, I won't name them now, but I could. And, and Dennis, is, <laughs> Dennis is going as soon as, I, as soon as I saw Michigan State, I was like, really? Michigan State has like a 20-some-odd year streak of making the tournament. They just don't want to see it end. Yeah, well – Whatever. I'm just saying. They just didn't want to see it end. Uh, my point is, 
for Pitt to get in next year or whoever next year's Pitt is for the the uh, uh, the ACC, the team knocking on the door, that team that needs the benefit of the doubt, the way you get that is by overperforming your seed this year. So if UVA goes on a run, that's good for whoever Pitt is next year, whichever team in the ACC is is on the bubble next year. Clemson goes on a run. That's good for next year's, I don't know, Boston College. I'm just picking up teams here. I won't randomly choose Clemson or Florida State as a possible ACC team because who knows if they'll even be in the ACC. Which, by the way, speaking of Pitt, yep. back on Sunday, during Selection Sunday, they yep. actually posted their resume on social media. Like, hey, a worthy resume, and they posted a graphic of all the stuff, you know, rankings and all those kinds of things. And they get Joe Lenardi, that guy, ESPN, yep. the bracketologist, quote, Quote, they repost it and says, the line with a 343, a 343 knockoff or strength of schedule must have gotten cut off on my screen. I'm like, dude. Well, did, did you see the I was uh, like, the 2019 comment he made? Oh, yeah, about NC State. About NC State getting getting uh, not included in the 2019 NCAA tournament, even though they were like third. I forget what exactly. 33rd in rank. 33rd in, in, net. in net ranking. Mm-hmm. And he goes, they had the, the worst non-conference strength of schedule in the country. They weren't getting in. What he failed to acknowledge is the net ranking takes into account non-conference strength of schedule. Exactly. So they were 33rd in the country despite having a low non-conference schedule. I agree that they should have a better non-conference schedule, but they've already been – Docked for that in the net ranking, Joe Lenardi, you're on my 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 list. Yeah, he's on ACC like number one. Well, I don't know if Clemson might be ACC number one villain right now. They've got but, they've got a share. They've got a exactly. Wide they've got a wide share. But in terms of like, like why are you trying to bury these teams? No clue. Like why why are you trying to bury these schools? Like why no is this your agenda to to like to take pit to slam to what dunk they're doing on like, Twitter on like entire universities? Exactly. It's like what. What are you trying to prove here? And guess what? Here's my thing. I'll, I'll close on this. I know we have to take a break. <laughs> yep. When it comes to non-conference strength of schedule, I'm sorry, you're playing a majority of your games in conference, right? Mm-hmm. So why are we putting so much weight on less than half of your schedule? No, I think the non-conference schedule should be it should matter, considered. But- it should matter. You should play real games in your non-conference, but you shouldn't be docked twice for it. Mm-hmm. If it hurts your net ranking, which it does, then it shouldn't hurt you in addition to at least that's how it was in 2019 anyway joe lenardi you're on my list the drive with tim donnelly 99.9 the fan don't be a stooge imagine waking up this time next week and being 100 percent debt free no credit cards no car loan no personal loan dennis cox here with my friends over at loan pronto and loan pronto's equity express line of credit can make all those things happen. We're talking homeowners are turning their home equity into cash almost instantly. With Loan Pronto's AI-based system, you can get approval in about 10 minutes. With almost no documentation, no appraisal, and no hassle, you can get hundreds of thousands of dollars out of your home. Use that money to pay off all your other loans. The average homeowner saves over $850 a month doing this. Listen, your home value, it's way up. You can use that to wipe out all those credit cards get some money out for that home improvement project you're looking to do this spring or summer literally hundreds of thousands are at your fingertips and approval is just minutes away call right now 919-381-1760 919-381-1760 loanpronto.com 919-381-1760 nmls 1661781 subject to lender approval equal housing lender the Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. will be back with your feedback. Tuesday feedback coming up. What? New scratch-offs are out? That means new chances to become a North Carolina Education Lottery Winners Club member. Yeah, in the Winners Club, I'll reinvent myself. I won't go by just plain Todd. I'll go by Toddrick. I'll get a gold jacket, play my saxophone again. I'll stop and smell the flowers. Call my mom more. Ugh, wrap it up, Todd. It's Todrick. This month's tickets packed $370 million in total prizes. The Winner's Club awaits. Must be 18 to play. Approximate overall odds of winning range from 1 in 2.93 to 4.24. Problem killing helpline 877 5543 Want a truck? You're in luck because it's Ram Truck Month at John Heaster Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Lillington. We're not talking just 5, 10, or even 15% off. We're talking 20% off all new Ram 1500s, excluding TRX and Tradesman Package. 20% off all shiny new Ram 1500s. It's time to get off your keister and get to Heaster for your new truck. 
We'll serve it up with personalized customer service from our team dedicated to providing a seamless buying experience. Hurry to John Heaster Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Lillington. There's definitely nothing in sports quite like March matchups, and that's why BetMGM is dropping bet and get tokens into the accounts of customers in North Carolina. Hey, it's Victoria Vodnecker here for BetMGM, and simply add a wager on March matchups to your bet slip and activate your token. You'll instantly receive a bonus bet no no matter how your wager goes, from buzzer beaters to big upsets, BetMGM is here for every magical moment in March matchups. Enjoy same game parlays, live bets, and so much more with your BetMGM app in North Carolina. Claim your bet and get token today and earn a bonus bet regardless of whether your March matchups wager is a swish or a miss. Only at BetMGM, the king of sports books. See BetMGM.com for terms 21 plus only, North Carolina only. New and existing customer offer subject to eligibility requirements. Rewards are non-withdrawable bonus bets that expire in seven days. Gambling problem? Call 877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. Getting ready to take on spring? Make your first move with the reliable performance and power of steel battery tools. From hedge trimmers and mowers to string trimmers and more, Save on select steel battery tools. Right now, save $50 on the RMA 460V lawnmower battery set. Real steel. Find yours at steeldealers.com. With AK30 battery and AL101 charger. Offer valid for a limited time only while supplies last. See participating dealer for details. Is your heating and air system ready for hot weather? Call Newcomen Company today to schedule a routine maintenance and ensure your system is operating at peak performance. Become a Comfort Contract customer to receive priority service and a 15% discount on service calls and repairs for HVAC and plumbing work. Newcomen Company has served the area as a carrier factory authorized dealer for more than three generations. Turn to the experts today. Call 919-862-3000 or find us at NewcomenCompany.com. Newcomen Company and Carrier. Your comfort is our business. The Dugout Tavern and Grill, number one sports bar in Apex, and your March Hoops headquarters. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Using a little T-Swifty to head straight into Tuesday feedback, this is where Dennis peruses the internet, YouTube, Twitter, anywhere he can find it for your feedback on the show. A lot of it does come from YouTube if you want to be a part of the conversation. Subscribe, 99.9 The Fan on YouTube. Comment on different uh, different different videos, and you just might be a part of Tuesday Feedback. All right, this actually goes into our conversation we had yesterday talking about NC State making their Cinderella run, if you want to say, mm-hmm. to win the ACC championship. Oh, it was. 10 seed. Absolutely. I it's, This is from Mere Touch. I understand that you support the Wolfpack, but this is getting out of hand. They did not win the national championship or anything of the sort. I'm a longtime ACC fan, and I support my heels to the fullest of my ability. Go Wolfpack, and, congr- and congratulations, but I think we're putting a little extra on it. Um, let me let me let me do some quick research here. Okay. Let me just let me just uh, let me just figure some things out. All right. All right, here we go. Is this spoken like a fan of a team that has not won an ACC tournament since 2016? Maybe. Uh, No, I I look at it like this. You don't want to downplay conference championships or national championships. They matter. They do. And if you say, oh, this one wasn't a big deal for NC State, then guess what? You better. You're going to feel mighty sad the next time your team wins a championship, and you you have to, uh, you know, stay pot committed to what you said before and go. Well, actually, it's not a big deal. We didn't even win a national championship. It is a big deal. It is. No team like the 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 lowest seeded team to win an ACC championship before NC State was was Virginia Tech a couple years ago. Seventh. They were tenth. They played a full game more than any other champions ever played. It was a big deal. 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 And I think it's it's a couple things. One, it's their first championship since 87. Correct. But also, winning five games in five days to win your conference championship has only happened one other time in history. UConn did it in 2011. That's it. Beat the one, the two, and the three seed. We, we did all of this. Yeah. It's, it's, 
So yeah, you, when, you don't. You don't. Have, by the way, when, when the unexpected like happens, Carolina we're fans go in on. and and I th- I think Carolina fans, Duke fans, uh, I, other schools in the AC, I think they did a really nice job of tipping their cap and kind of saying like, hey, states having their moment. You don't have to like it. You it'd be weird if you did. Mm-hmm. But there is a level of respect where it's like, no, that was actually a very impressive deal. You don't have to vocalize it. You don't have to, like, send a congratulations text to your your Wolfpack fan friends. But it's a big deal whether you want to admit it or not. All right, next one here. This one comes from Candy Hearts, 6072. Great name. Candy Hearts. Candy Hearts. What's going on, Candy? Talking about the the potential of Mike Williams and uh, Michael Gallup, Mm. free agents coming in regarding the Carolina Panthers, visiting with the Panthers later on this week. Say, quote, uh, the Panthers need a number one, but they don't want to give up the assets to get one. The Bears bamboozled them out of the the one that they had. Mike Williams is a, isn't a good one. He's injury prone, and the Panthers have enough of those type of players. <laughs> injury prone, I guess it is. They need to get one of the good ones from the draft. Draft as many as you can and make them compete. Well, that's difficult. I was with you, I was with you for so much of it. Uh, the, the the Bears bamboozled. I'm yeah. with you. I'm with you. They need a number one, and they can't give up the assets to go get a true one. I get it. I love it, right? The T. Higgins, the Brandon Ayukes, mm-hmm. that's too rich for their blood. It's too expensive. I'm with it. I'm with it. And then you said draft as many as you can and let them compete, and I went, ooh. So close. Uh, simply because reps, 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 whoever you draft, be confident. One or two. Uh, one or two wide receivers, be confident that you're going to be able to pick, evaluate the right ones, and then give them reps. Give, let them get on the same page as Bryce. Let them, uh, you know, work to get open. Have a game where they they drop a pass. Like, you need to show them confidence and attention and, and give them reps. So, I wouldn't say draft as many as you can and let them compete. Draft one or two and let them grow. Not saying don't make them compete, but make them compete with Deontay Johnson and Adam Thielen and uh, Ian Thomas and whoever else is catching passes. But he brings up a good point. Mike Mike Williams is an injury prone guy. Yeah, it's happened throughout his whole career. They, so yeah, but, how but, reliable is he? But for the reasons you said, they are shopping in the dented can aisle, right? You're yeah, not they gonna, are. You're not going to get a perfect like. If he's not injury prone, he's undersized. If he's not injury prone or undersized, he's a, too old. If he's not injury prone, undersized, he's uh, got a checkered locker room history. Like everyone is going to have something you're going to have to compromise on because, as you said. They can't afford the top of the line number one options, and those guys are, you know, expensive. Okay, next one here. This one's also regarding the Carolina Panthers. This actually comes from a conversation we had last week mm-hmm. about the Panthers. Um, this one comes from Evan Webb. If Atlanta and Philly, by the way, a little, little context here, Atlanta and Philadelphia are being investigated by the NFL for potentially breaking the tampering rules mm-hmm. during the legal tampering period, yep. which is kind of weird. So during the legal tampering period, which was Monday and Wednesday, Monday and Tuesday of last mm-hmm. week, teams can only talk to agents unless the player is representing them himself yes. directly. So apparently there was conversations that Philadelphia had with I forget who it was off the top of my head, uh, but also Sa- Saquon. Well, the, Saquon con- the, the conversation was I think James Franklin, which was Saquon's yes. college coach, or hinted or said in an interview that Saquon talked with Howie Roseman. Mm-hmm. And that the antennas and alarms went off there. Uh, don't quote me on the exact what I just said, but uh, I'm pretty sure that that's how it broke down. And then also, there's also potential that Atlanta spoke directly to Kirk Cousins mm. during the legal tampering period. So anyway, there's potential maybe loss of draft picks coming up in the in the near future. Uh, this one comes from Evan Webb. If Atlanta and Philly get first round picks taken for tampering, <laughs> do you believe that the 33? which is what the Carolina Panthers currently have, is now more valuable as a trading piece or more valuable to keep? There's two parts to this answer. Mm-hmm. Yes, if they have their first-round picks taken away for tampering, the 33rd becomes the 31st, and it is more valuable. The second part is I don't think they're going to lose a first-round pick. They might lose a fifth. Uh, they might lose... And it might not happen until next year. Yeah, it's it's actually, that's probably the best, mm-hmm. best take of the, the, the day. Um, the 33rd is the 33rd at this point. That is what it is, and, and you have to do what you can do with it. I remember Miami lost their first-round pick last year because they think they spoke to Tom Brady. 
That was a whole thing. Yes. Yeah, that was a big thing, but they did lose the Owners, first round Ownership pick. was involved. They lost their first round pick and something else too. Um, maybe top 30 visits they lost a bunch of. Uh, yeah, you can lose it, but that's that's a different kind of tampering. That's not like, hey, the wrong person talked to the wrong person. That's like somebody was under contract with another team and you were scheming to get them and Sean Payton to Miami. Whole different beast. All right, last one here. This one comes from uh, JD. Uh, again, going back to NC State. Been a Wolfpack fan since I was a kid. I was nine in 1983 and remember how special it was. My oldest daughter is a freshman at NC State, and she was home for spring break, and we watched every game together with amazement. I'll never forget the 2024 ACC tournament. Yeah, that's just good vibes. Yeah, exactly. Just good vibes. Um, to update on what we were just talking about, I will now guarantee that Mike Williams does not become a Panther. Why? Because he, according to Jordan Schultz of Bleacher Report, who's pretty good at this thing, uh, he is signing a one-year deal worth up to $15 million with the Jets. Oh, good on him. So he will not not be a Panther. So <laughs> he'll average he'll be a over a million dollar per game he plays this season because he never plays hey, a full season. Up to, up to 15. Oh, well, then there you go. Maybe that's the deal. Maybe it's a million a game. Yeah. <laughs> We're just going to plan to go ahead and give you guys – Go to plan on giving you a couple of games off. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, up to 15, and then that's the max. If you play anything less than 15, you get less. I actually, I would do that to an injury-prone injury prone player. Yeah. Uh, the Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. That is Tuesday Feedback. Dennis Cox here for my friends over at Capital Buy, Sell Trade. They're located on Glenwood Avenue right here in Raleigh. So if you're in the area, whether, you know, sometime this week or this coming weekend, swing on by Capital Buy, Sell Trade. Because I know a lot of people are thinking, hey, you know what? Summertime or springtime is rolling around. Summer's right around the corner right after that. I got to upgrade the wardrobe. Well, look no further than Capital Buy, Sell Trade. Obviously, they got sneakers. They have over a thousand sneakers on the wall. Capital buy, sell, trade. But we're talking vintage clothing and T-shirts, streetwear, hoodies, shirts. You name it. They got a whole bunch of stuff, even accessories for you as well. Capital buy, sell, trade. If you want to upgrade the wardrobe and all facets, head over there. Capital buy, sell, trade has something for you in your size. And again, if you want to match up with your your fandom of your favorite team, favorite school, especially this time of year, capital buy, capital BST. They got something out there for you. Follow them on Instagram, at CapitalBST919. And when you swing through there, let them know that Dennis sent you. The starting five is coming up next here on The Drive with Tim Donnelly, including a brand-new offensive lineman for the Carolina Panthers. Stick around. The always ready for breakfast deal. Going to bed already? Yep. Breakfast at Mickey D's tomorrow. So? Sooner I go to bed, sooner it'll be morning. Sooner I'll be at Mickey D's. This is actually brilliant. You can come too. Turn out that light. There's a deal for every breakfast strategist at McDonald's. For a limited time, you can buy a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit or sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddles for only $2.50. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Get ready for spring at Westlake Ace with the best brands like Steel, Ego, Scott's, and more. Right now, select Steel products are up to $60 off. And don't forget, Ace Rewards members save money every season. This month, 20-pound bags of Ace Bird Seed are just $11. Visit our two new locations at the corner of Rogers Lane and New Bern Avenue or on Leesville Road in Pinecrest Point. Westlake Ace Hardware, now with five convenient locations in Raleigh. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. At Bet365, they don't do ordinary. They believe that every sport should be epic. Every point, every game, every layup, every play. From the moments that are legendary to the ones that fly under the radar. See for yourself when you sign up today, and you'll get $200 in bonus bets when you bet just $5. Whatever the sport, whatever the moment, it's never ordinary. At Bet365, official partner of the Charlotte Hornets. 21 plus only. Gambling problem? Call one 877 7 or visit morethanagame.nc.com. Terms and conditions apply. Tim Donnelly here, and I want to let you know March is a critical time to check your home's windows. Call the pros at Window Nation. Right now, for every two windows you buy, you get two windows free, plus zero down, zero interest, and no payments for 24 months. Call 866-90-NATION or visit windownation.com now. Our state's future begins with our students. That's why the North Carolina Education Lottery has contributed over $10 billion to education through scholarships 
scholarships, school construction, support staff and pre-K programs, lottery dollars move our state forward, helping students become the best versions of themselves. Visit movingncstudentsforward.com and share how your student or school community has benefited for a chance to earn $2,000 for your story. Must be 18 to play. Problem Gambling Helpline 877-718-5543. Hello, I'm John Heaster for the Heaster Automotive Group. And you know, we're constantly looking for ways to serve you better. One of the ways we do that is with something we call a go-see. And that's where you select a vehicle from our inventory, and we have thousands, and we get one of our product specialists to bring that vehicle to you at your convenience. How do we do that? Well, it's simple. We have a group of employees that are evaluated based on the number of presentations they do. They're glad to do it. So it's just one more way we get off our keister and bring Heaster to you. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same but is 95% cheaper and you can get it online? Go to hymns.com slash joy. Through Hims, you'll get a free medical consultation, discreet shipping if prescribed, and the process is 100% online. To start your free online visit, go to hymns.com slash joy. That's H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. This hour on the Triangle Sports Leader is brought to you by the Ritchie Law Firm Injury Lawyers. You can feel the madness! Go to gotbrian.com. That's gotbrian.com. WCMC HD1 Holly Springs. Take us with you on radio, web, app, Alexa, and YouTube. 99.9 The Fan, the Triangle Sports Leader. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm WRL meteorologist Mike Mays. Far colder today. You felt the difference. Spring officially arrives tonight. It's still clear, chilly, below around 40, mostly sunny. A temperature turnaround tomorrow. It's windy, a high up to 72. Weather update brought to you by Newcomb and Company, where your comfort is their business. Visit NewcombandCompany.com. Five o'clock check of your money. Dow Jones is up 320 points to 39,110. Market update brought to you by The Dugout Tavern and Grill, number one sports bar in Apex and your March Hoops headquarters. It's 5 o'clock. Time to serve up the biggest sports stories of the day. Here comes your starting five. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. It is 5 o'clock. Thank you for spending your uh, your evening and late afternoon, whatever you want to call it, with us here on 99.9 The Fan. It's time for the starting five. Let's get to the number five. I got five on it. Yash Nyman. Has signed a, a nice little deal with uh, with the Carolina Panthers. Who? Yash Nyman. Oh, okay. Swing tackle uh, out of Virginia Tech by way of the Green Bay Packers. This, you know what's going to happen is <laughs> Dave Canales is, is an offensive mind, and I'm just going to agree with so many of his offensive moves. Uh, this is a really good move. Nyman is a swing tackle, which means he can back up both the right and left tackle. He started 22 games for the Packers. He started games when Aaron Rodgers was the quarterback for the Packers, which is – is that's experience that translates. What I mean by that is Aaron Rodgers is not an easy guy to block for. He's really good, and, he, and he's made some plays, and he can make your offense work. But if you can give him eight seconds, he's going to hold the ball for eight seconds. And if you make a mental mistake, he's not going to be chill about it, right? So Nyman was very much thrown into like a graduate level class to sink or swim. And for the most part, with some speed wobbles, he he swam. So now he's coming to the Panthers as somebody that has been through the ringer a little bit. And his time with the Packers, a lot of it was being thrust into action um, after injuries or after, you know, it wasn't expected. It's not like he was penciled into the starting lineup. And he's not going to be penciled into the starting lineup with the Panthers. But he has experience jumping in. And as we've seen time and time and time again, over and over and over again, over and over and over again, offensive linemen get hurt. It's a physical game. It's a physical sport. And when they get hurt, sometimes entire games can come down to how well does your backup play? 
and what shuffling needs to happen, right? Because sometimes it's your left tackle gets hurt, and then your best backup tackle is a right tackle. So he plays right tackle, and your right tackle moves to left tackle, and suddenly one guy gets hurt. You have like seven backups on the on the field. You're like, wait, how did this happen? One guy got hurt, and now we have backups playing at nine positions. Nyman being a swing tackle that can truly play right and left means, you know, if Moten goes down, he plays right tackle. If Icky goes down, he plays left tackle. And you can you can shuffle around your other backups to focus on the interior defensive line. Or, sorry, offensive line. And we have Brady Christensen coming off an injury this past season. He only played in one game, but he has experience playing both tackle and guard. Mm-hmm. So, okay, you have starting experience and depth. And, okay, now you're building up one of your weaknesses that you had last season in your offensive line. I like it. It's it, not it, sexy, but I like it. Exactly. I'm just going to agree with their moves offensively for the most part. They, they. I'm trying to think. I mean, they spent a lot on guards. Let's just let's just get Lewis and Hunt. That's a lot of money invested on interior offensive line. But if they think Bryce Young is going to need to be able to step up in the pocket, I see why. I love the Deontay Johnson trade. I like this Yash Nyman signing. Should I should like? Should I be looking for the, the 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 sniper on me somewhere to be like, you're talking too too positive about the Panthers. We, we don't do that around here. Let's move on. Let's get to number four. We are the four horsemen. Woo. Clemson. Why? Clemson suing the, <laughs> suing the ACC for grant of rights enforceability. By the way, do you see the? Uh, I'll read the statement from the the ACC if I can find it quickly. Oh, okay. Clemson also released a statement. Dueling because, statements? Yes, dueling statements. Actually, uh, while you're bringing that up, I'll go ahead and pull up the Clemson statement here real fast. Basically, what Clemson is saying, the ACC's position regarding the grants of rights, the exit penalty, and obligations owed by members to the conference, as detailed in its public statements and other court filings, leaves Clemson with no choice but to move forward with this lawsuit. Clemson has not given notice that it is exiting the ACC and remains a member of the conference. Here's a statement from Jim Ryan, chair of the ACC Board of Directors and ACC Commissioner Jim Phillips, PhD. Here's the statement. It's kind of, I just want to be clear, it's kind of a, uh, you know, putting your your you-know-what on the table. The ACC remains confident that its agreements with all its members will be affirmed by the courts. Clemson, along with all ACC members, voluntarily signed and re-signed the 2013 and 2016 Grant of Rights, which is binding through 2036. In addition, Clemson agreed to the process and procedures for withdrawal. The conference's legal counsel will vigorously enforce the agreement and bylaws in the best interests of the ACC's current and incoming members. End of statement. So basically it's that good bleeping luck. Basically saying, yeah, this is this is not our first time. Basically saying this is not our uh, our first rodeo here. We have lawyers. They're good at what they do. If there was a loophole, Florida State would have already walked through it. If there was a loophole, if there was a gap in our language, if we weren't about our business, they would have already walked through it. So good luck, Clemson. This is going to get tied up for a while because you got to think that Clemson filed their suit in South Carolina. Mm-hmm. Florida State Flyer their, filed theirs in Florida. The ACC's countersuit was filed in North Carolina. Yep. These are all federal, so actually which court gets jurisdiction? Like That's going to be figured out like months, and then whatever they decide, it's going to get appealed and stuff. We're, we're so far away from getting anywhere, any resolution on this. Well, we know exactly where this, this Clemson one's going to go because Florida State's there now. Clemson is issuing motions to try to shut down the one in North Carolina. ACC is issu- issuing motions and suits and countersuits and everything else trying to shut it down in Florida. So that's going to be, what, like um, two months from now where Clemson and the ACC are doing the same song and dance? It's going to happen. I've seen the future. That is number four. Let's get to number three. One, two, three. We have basketball games that matter to the NCAA tournament tonight. Let's go. Tonight. Number 16, 
Wagner and Howard. This one matters because they'll be playing North Carolina, the winner of. So whoever wins that will be the 16th seed playing uh, North Carolina. Colorado State playing against Virginia. These are all happening in Dayton, Ohio. Um, Colorado State at number 10, Virginia, although they're just the home team. It's in Dayton. Uh, that one's important because we want the ACC to have five teams in the, the big dance. Do we count? Like, uh, here's here's the, 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 the reason why I don't really count this as part of the NCAA tournament. Um, I used to cover Norfolk State. Okay, they're a school in in the Hampton Roads area of Virginia, and they played in the playing game, and it was very obvious that they desperately wanted to get to the the actual big dance and play in the round of 64 to kind of make it feel real. Not to say their season would be discredited if they didn't, but like the teams know the difference between going to Dayton and going to. Uh, like the location of a cluster of games in the first round of the NCAA tournament. It's different. So I want five teams in the, the real authentic certified NCAA tournament for the ACC. That means Virginia has to beat Colorado State. And Howard and Wagner, I don't know. I, I, I To be blatantly honest, don't know a lot about either. I'll watch the game and then as it goes along, decide which one I think better fits UNC. Either way, they should win. Yes. Facts. Either although, way, they should win. Although, tell hey, Purdue hey, and UVA that. Well, I was about to say, don't sleep now. Don't take them lightly. It's happened twice. It has. Starting five, that's number five, four, three. We still have numbers two and one to go, and they will be coming up in a second. But first, I'm Tim Donnelly for my friends at DraftKings Sportsbook. The wait is over. DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of NASCAR, is now live in North Carolina, and you can legally bet on all your favorite sports anytime, anywhere. We're talking college basketball, which we were just talking about. We're talking hockey. We're talking pro basketball, all right here in North Carolina with DraftKings. For a limited time, new customers who sign up with promo code TIMD, that's T-I-M-D, uh, no spaces, Tim D. And then you bet $5. All you have to do is bet $5, and instantly you will receive $250 in bonus bets. DraftKings has the best features, same game parlays, player props, and more with fast and easy payouts right at your fingertips. Player props, what does that mean? Well, in a basketball game, over, under, and rebounds, over, under, and points, over, under, and assists, over, under, and points, rebounds, plus assists. Who's going to score the first basket of the game? Who's going to be winning at halftime? Who's going to be winning? There's so many different ways uh, to explore how you want to bet on a different game. doesn't just have to be picking winners. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now using code TIMD and bet $5 to get $250 instantly in bonus bets. It could be picking winners. It just doesn't have to be only picking winners. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code TIMD, no spaces. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 8-777-185-543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. 21 plus North Carolina only. Only bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. Deposit and eligibility restrictions apply. Terms at DraftKings.com slash sportsbook slash NC. NASCAR is not a sponsor of this promotion and used under license. We're going to take a break when we come back. The rest of the starting five. You call that a precision stop? When a rookie stunt driver, just give me a shot, meets the trainer who thought he'd seen it all. Come on, focus. They'll soon find out that behind the wheel of the Nissan Rogue, with the power of VC Turbo and the most fuel-efficient gas-powered engine in its class. Watch this. The protege can become a master. But this is no ordinary blockbuster. It's a Nissan sales event ad. Level up your drive with 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on the 2023 Nissan Rogue. Shop the Nissan sales event. Visit your local Nissan store and NissanUSA.com today. Auto Pacific segmentation excluding hybrids and electric vehicles. 2024 EPA fuel economy estimates from 28 city, 34 highway to 30 city, 37 highway for 2024 Nissan Rogue. Actual mileage may vary. For well qualified buyers, 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on new 2023 Rogue and dealer stock example, 60 months financing at 1748 per month per thousand financed. Actual down payment may vary. Subject to residency restrictions and in MAC credit approval, not all buyers qualify. Dealer contribution may affect actual price set by dealer. Contact dealer for details. Ends 4 Hey guys, sound familiar? Your energy's not the same. The weight's starting to creep up. You're a little forgetful. And to make matters worse, you're not sleeping well. Well, it could be low T, but you shouldn't go one more day dealing with these symptoms. Help is available at QC Kinetics. 
They'll help diagnose the issue and get you back to feeling like yourself again. QC Kinetics, the nation's leader in regenerative medicine. They use biologic treatments encouraging your body to optimize the hormone levels you need to boost stamina, provide more mental clarity, and improve your metabolism. It starts with a complimentary consultation and comprehensive exam. One quick office visit, and you'll have next steps to swing those hormone levels back into balance. All using the protocols QC Kinetics is known for around the country. Most importantly, you'll be back to yourself, and that's important. So call right now for your complimentary consultation. Call QC Kinetics, 919-400-5473. That's 919-400-5473. Located in Raleigh, 919-400-5473. Hey, it's me, your future you. You made bad credit card moves, got no rewards to use. Shoulda compared cards with the nerds and got the cash back you deserve. Now you have to stand to see your favorite band while your friends all got VIP wristbands. (laughs) Don't make your future you hate you. Compare and find top credit cards today with NerdWallet. NerdWallet, finance smarter. What? New scratch-offs are out. That means new chances to become a North Carolina Education Lottery Winners Club member. Yeah, in the Winners Club. I'll reinvent myself. I won't go by just plain Todd. I'll go by Toddrick. I'll get a gold jacket, play my saxophone again. I'll stop and smell the flowers. Call my mom more. Ugh, wrap it up, Todd. It's Toddrick. This month's tickets packed $370 million in total prizes. The Winners Club awaits. Must be 18 to play. Approximate overall odds are winning range from 1 in 2.93 to 4.24. Problem killing help on 877-718-5543. Starting March 18th for three days only, shop limited time doorbusters during Lowe's MVP's bonus days. Buy one Metabo HPT 15 degree roofing nailer. Get one box of Metabo HPT one and a quarter inch collated roofing nails free of $49.98 value. Plus, save $39 on a little giant A4 six foot 300 pound step ladder. Shop these deals and more while supplies last. Lowe's knows pros. Valid 318 through 320. Selection varies by location. Did you know one of the best investments you can make? It's in yourself. At My Computer Career, in just a few months, you could start your new career in the high-demand, recession-resistant field of information technology. Isn't it time you invest in you and start a career in networking, cybersecurity, AI, or upskill to boost your current IT career? So, get the ROI you deserve at My Computer Career. No experience necessary. Start now at mycomputercareer.edu. Financial aid is available for qualified students, including the GI Bill. Just the two of us. The starting five continues here on The Drive with Tim Donnelly on 99.9 The Fan. And the first place we'll go is to number two. Just the two of us. The Islanders hosting the Carolina Hurricanes tonight. Hockey night in Carolina, which you can catch right here. Uh, on 99.9 The Fan. A little bit later than usual. We went over this not long ago. Uh, but it's 7.30 puck drop, 7 o'clock storm watch. That's right. Uh, it is a ESPN Hulu game. So if you want to catch Mike Maniscalco and, and, and the broadcast that you're used to, uh, right here on 99.9 The Fan is the only way to do so. Anything I'm failing to add? No. Okay, there we go. Uh, the Islanders are another chance for the Canes to gel. That's what this is. Obviously win, right? I, I, I feel so foolish when I have to add those qualifiers where I'm like, obviously you want to play well. Obviously you want to win. But the fact of the matter is if you don't hit that qualifier, somebody's going to go, oh, a lot of talking about stuff other than winning. Yes, win. But also, let's not pretend like the Islanders are the the, the 86 Celtics. You know what I mean? Let's let's not pretend they're they're the, the, the legendary squads of, of yesteryear. Right? They're middle of the pack. They are firmly, they are bold, underlined, highlighted, middle of the pack. You're going to get a team, by the way, in the Islanders that's scratching and clawing to get into the playoffs. Yeah. Like, they need every point they can. Whether, by hook or by crook. <laughs> they'll, they'll find a way. They <laughs> can get two points, they'll get two. Uh, middle of the pack in the division, middle of the pack in the East, middle of the pack in the NHL, middle of the pack in goals scored, middle of the pack in goals allowed. Uh, Noah Dobson is top five in assists, mm-hmm. but no one on the Islanders is top twenty in points scored or goal scored. So it's 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 like I said, they're middle of the pack, and as Dennis said, they're going to be doing everything they possibly can to not be described as middle of the pack. 
Um, they're two points back of Washington for the final wild card spot. They're three points back of Philadelphia for the third spot in the Metropolitan Division. So they're within striking. Oh, yeah, 100%. Ironically, do you know what I think this game is about for the Canes? What's that? And we're going to talk about this more later on in the show. It's still what we talked about yesterday. Building trust. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, you know, the the good part about what the Canes have done at the trade deadline in the past, which is very little, um, is you already know everybody's role at this point in the season. You know how everybody fits together. You know what you can trust and not trust for each player. Making some big moves at the deadline means roles are shifting, and, and you need to find out what you can be trusted to do. And that's not just adding players. That's not just adding uh, Gensel and Kuzi. It's also moving on from bunting. Right there's vacuums that that are going to suck in different players to to do different roles, and then there's places that need to be fit into. So there's, you know, this is a game with a a desperate team playing with playoff like intensity. You're going to be on the road. It's in the division, and and it's a good opportunity for you to to gel. Right, it's a good opportunity for you to put another kind of you know brick in the the road towards the postseason. That is no. Go ahead. I say. By the way, real quick, uh, Jack Drury did not make the trip on this three-game road trip. So Jack Drury is still out, suffering from a lower body injury. Saturday, March 9th. Um, so who knows when he will be able to return? But also, Tavo Turvinen's actually missed the last couple games due to an upper body injury that he suffered on March the 14th, that Thursday. He missed the past two games over the weekend. Rod Brennamore said the injury is not that serious, but again. We'll wait and see when Table Terra Vine returns to the lineup. So here's the thing. They're still not even at full strength. The Jack Drury thing's probably been going under the radar a little bit, and that's pa- partially our fault. A little uh, bit. There's just so many. It's like, ooh, shiny new. Ooh, let's watch that. Ooh, look at me, distracted. Because uh, pretty much when, when he went out, if you get it, that's all, 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 the, all the new. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, Jack Drury, yeah, get healthy, bud. Like, you're important. You, 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 your skill set is one that the team needs, and your position is one that the team needs. Um, so, so maybe we'll, we'll dive into that a bit more later on in the show. Uh, that's number two. On to number one. The one. There are three ACC triangle teams getting ready for the NCAA tournament. If you would have told me that last week, I probably would have told you. Uh, probably not. Um, but. NC State made the run. Obviously, Duke and Carolina had pretty much already punched their tickets, so they are all preparing. Uh, Let's hear from Kevin Keats, the head coach of NC State, on his level of confidence going into the NCAA tournament. I mean, you think about it. We we will look back one day, and it may even be tomorrow, and just just be at awe at the, the, the teams that we beat. I mean, they're they were they're great programs, great coaches um, who have done a really good job. I just think the difference where we were locked in, uh, we we went through our conference and we saw every team, we played every team, and we felt like if we played our best game, we had an opportunity to beat everybody. Now, I didn't know it was going to happen five days in a row, um, but we've done it. And you know, like I said, it all the credit. I, I, listen, these guys and the other guys in the locker room. They do all the heavy lifting. I'm, I'm just, I just try to orchestrate stuff, but to put them in the right spots. But they have done a great job. A lot of confidence there. We talked about this earlier. Does that change their vibe? Confidence. They were. I know they were confident in the ACC tournament, but there was like a healthy amount of desperation mixed in there. There was a healthy amount of of maybe forced confidence healthy amount of, of confidence led by pure belief. Now they actually have like reason to be confident. I'm just wondering if it doesn't change their, their vibe at all. Uh, and they're going to have to do what they can. I, by the way, and I said this earlier also, I don't think if your state, your goal is to recreate the ACC tournament and the NCAA tournament. I don't think you go in thinking it's paint by numbers and you're going to give the same speeches and, and do the same practice thing. It is different. You need to build off of the ACC tournament, not try to recreate it, and and give them credit. It doesn't feel like they're trying to. Uh, for North Carolina, I think you need to get Cormac Ryan going, Elliot Cadeau scoring again, and Harrison Ingram rebounding. Those were the three things that were lacking in the ACC championship. If you think that's a one-off, right, If which is possible, 
right? If, if you're Hubert Davis and you go, I think they, they just had a bad day, guess what your, your message to the team is? We're good. Stay confident. We're just going to tune some things up, polish some things off, and go get ready for the NCAA tournament. If you think there's some changes that need to be made, you make the changes. That's why they pay you the big bucks, Hubie. I don't know if anyone calls him Hubie. They might. Maybe. <laughs> if not, apologize. As somebody that hates to be called Timmy, I probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, so, Hubert, that's why they pay you the big bucks. Uh, and then Duke on the other side, we, we've talked about this all season. They lack edge. They lack toughness. Can you – where do you find that at this point in the season? Where do you find it? Does somebody have to get mad? Do you, do you like do – you, I feel like uh, um, well, another movie reference. You've seen Miracle, right? Right, Dennis. The the absolutely, of course. You you know when uh, Herb Brooks, aka was a Kurt Russell, um, calls the player. I think it was Johnson, and he's you know, oh, your leg is hurt. The leg's a heck of a lot of far away from the heart, right? And he's, I want you to be a hockey player. And he's basically telling the guy that's hurt, like, you got to play through it or else you're not tough and you're not a hockey player. And then the guy's standing up, I am a hockey player. And then they're yelling back and forth, and he's being held back. And then Herb walks out of the room, and he looks to the assistant coach and goes, that'll get him riled up. Like, I, And it's like, oh, is he, you know, he's a Jedi mind guy, and he's he's pulling all the right strings to get him fired up. I almost think John Shire needs to do that. Right, you need to Jedi mind trick them into getting angry and fired up. I don't know if it's the common enemy thing, like make them all mad at you, and then they'll take their anger out at you, out on whoever they're playing against. But feel free to experiment because the Duke uh, uh, temperament that we've seen this year is not built for the NCAA tournament. It's built for like. A nice evening on a dock catching fish. Just zzz, Sounds nice. Zzz, bloop. Oh, got one. Like, that's what it's built for. If you get them riled up, I don't know what you do. <laughs> call, call them names? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going not gonna to offer up names to call. But, but you can always mix it up is what I'm saying. Uh, hey, everybody, I was out for the second straight day today out at Academy Sports and Outdoors, and I'm telling you, you want to check it out. I'm Tim Donnelly for Academy Sports and Outdoors, and it's here. It's brand new. It's in Nightdale. It was open yesterday, so uh, it, it's, it's like I said, brand new. They proudly invite you to the new Academy Sports and Outdoors store now open at 216 Hinton Oaks Boulevard. A uh, few things going on as part of grand opening fun this weekend. The first 150 customers in line when the store opens Friday, Saturday, and Sunday that are over the age of 18 get a free mystery gift card with over 15000 in total weekend prizes. You can shop grand opening deals on the best brands in sports and outdoor gear. Plus, get a free gift when you participate in their in-store treasure hunt. Plus, more fun all happening in the Nightdale store of Academy Sports and Outdoors. Even right now, you can text SPORTS, S-P-O-R-T-S, SPORTS, to 919-860-5326 to enter to win a $25 Academy Sports gift card. Again, SPORTS to 919-860-5326. Text it in to enter to win a $25 Academy Sports gift card. We're going to take a break, but... We also need our uh, our numbers game contestants. What am I doing? I almost forgot that. Uh, we have Avenged Sevenfold tickets to give away. The Live is But a Dream North American Tour Part 3 with special guests Poppy and Sullivan King. It's coming to PNC Arena on March 29th. That is a Friday. If you want to go, you got to win the numbers game. If you want to win the numbers game, you got to call in right now. 919-860-5326. 919-860-5326. Numbers game. Next. The always ready for breakfast deal. Going to bed already? Yep. Breakfast at Mickey D's tomorrow. So? Sooner I go to bed, sooner it'll be morning. Sooner I'll be at Mickey D's. This is actually brilliant. You can come too. Turn out that light. There's a deal for every breakfast strategist at McDonald's. 
For a limited time, you can buy a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit or sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddles for only $2.50. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate. Restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same but is 95% cheaper and you can get it online? Go to hymns.com slash joy. Through Hims, you'll get a free medical consultation, discreet shipping if prescribed, and the process is 100% online. To start your free online visit, go to hymns.com slash joy. That's H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. Hey, friends. Paul Lyhander for the team at FanDuel, and your wait is over North Carolina. FanDuel, America's number one sports book, is officially live in North Carolina. Right now, new customers get $250 in bonus bets guaranteed when you bet your first five bucks. Just go to FanDuel dot com slash Paul and sign up. Then you can bet on everything from the money line to over-unders to which team cuts down all the nets this March. All on an app that's safe, secure, and super easy to use. So take the court with $250 in bonus bets, win or lose, when you place your first $5 bet. Visit FanDuel.com slash Paul, Paul with a capital P, and get started. FanDuel, America's number one sports book. 21 plus and present in North Carolina. First online real money wager only. $10 deposit required. Bonus issued as non-withdrawable bonus bets that expire seven days after receipt. Restrictions apply. See full terms at fanduel.com slash sportsbook. Gambling problem? Call 877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. How a busy baker beat back foot pain. Meet Sanja. Brownies, cupcakes, cookies. I love to bake. There have been times when I've been on my feet for at least 12 hours. And that's how things went from sweet to sour. I had excruciating pain in both feet to a point where I had to limp out of the kitchen. So she called up a former foot pain sufferer, her big sister. She told me, you need to go to the Good Feet store and get some arch supports. Smart lady. It was an awesome experience. Scott took great care of my feet. He's the arch support specialist who fitted her. He was very patient, very knowledgeable. Scott was the man. Now Sanja can have her cake and bake it too. Oh yeah, my feet are very happy now. You're gonna have to make some cookies for Scott. I've already done that. Of course you did. The Good Feet store is in Chapel Hill near Whole Foods, in Fayetteville in the Freedom Town Center, and in Raleigh in the Midtown East Shopping Center. Book your appointment today at goodfeet.com. The Good Feet store. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. We have Lewis on I-40 and Matt and Garner getting ready to play the numbers game. One of the favorite things that we do every single day. I get to go ahead and pretend that I am a uh, game show host, which I think everyone wants to be at some level. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> we have, by the way, we have avenged sevenfold tickets on the line. So, in, in, inspired by that, uh, we start with Lewis in I-40 to find out who goes first. We ask a question and pick our favorite answer. Uh, the Avenged Sevenfold Tour is called Live is But a Dream, uh, which I, of course, called Live is But a Dream yesterday. So, with live in the title, you can have tickets to any one sporting event to watch live. Which one are you going to and why? Uh, it got to be a Super Bowl. Super Bowl. And why? Uh, it just is it's one of them things just I, I always just it's a, it's a bucket list thing. All right. Uh, sounds good. Set in line. We'll see if it holds up. Matt and Gardner, same question to you. You can see any sporting event live. I'm giving you a pair of tickets. Which one do you want? Uh, definitely Bears versus Packers in Lambeau Field. I'm a Packers fan, and I've heard that game's like no other. I'm going to put this one on, on Dennis to decide. He, you were nodding very aggressively for both, so I want to put you on the spot. I mean, they're both great answers. I, that's the thing. Like, Super Bowl, who doesn't want to go to a Super Bowl? I do. But someone that's like, I'm invested in a rivalry and also like a historic place like Lambeau, I don't, I don't know, man. Flip a coin on this one. We'll go Matt and Gardner. Just because okay. I've actually heard, and, and I've, I've been to Super Bowl week. I've never been to the actual game. I've heard it's a little overrated. 
I heard it's very corporate. Everybody there yeah. is like is rich and not a fan of either team. They're just there for the they get the sponsorship tickets yeah, and yeah, all that exactly. kind of stuff like that. So yeah, uh, I I totally get that. But yeah, like a rabid fan base and a and a rivalry but, game. But who I, would who wouldn't want to be at, at either? Exactly. Uh, Matt and Garner, you get to go first. The categories were are inspired by at least two of them are inspired by the news that Clemson is joining Florida State and suing the ACC. So uh, we have NFL Clemson alums and the pros. We have NFL Florida State alums in the pros, uh, and we have NBA under 35 and NHL Canes and Whalers only. Which category do you want? Uh, I'll take Clemson alums in the pros. Okay, these are all players that uh, played their college football at Clemson. I will give you the team and the player. You give me the jersey number as quickly as you can. There will be 30 seconds on the clock. You do have one pass if you'd like to use it. Any last-second questions? Nope. All right, your time will start when you hear the horn. Deshaun Watson, Cleveland Browns. Four. Correct. Travis Etienne, Jacksonville Jaguars. One. Correct. DeAndre Hopkins, Tennessee Titans. Uh, Ten. Correct. Brian Dawkins, Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, Eight. Incorrect. William Perry, Chicago Bears. Uh, Pass. Uh, Brian Dawkins, Philadelphia Eagles. Eleven. Incorrect. William Perry, Chicago Bears. Uh, Eighteen. Incorrect. Brian Dawkins, Philadelphia Eagles. 21. Ooh, getting closer with 21. He wore number 20. Brian Dawkins did. Uh, would this have made it any better for you? William the Refrigerator Perry, Chicago Bears. <laughs> Probably not. Maybe 98. Uh, well, all right. That, that, that makes sense. He wore number 72. Uh, but okay. y- you should look into the 85 Bears a little bit. They were a fascinating team. Uh, Brian Dawkins, 20. William Perry, 72. Uh, you did get Deshaun, Travis, and DeAndre. Uh, so you have three. That'll be the uh, the score you take into the clubhouse with you. Uh, sit on the line. We'll see if it holds up, all right? All right. All right. Lewis on I-40, are you there? Yep, I'm here. All right. The categories remain NFL, Florida State alums, uh, NBA under 35, and NHL, Canes and Whalers only. Let's try NBA under 35. All right. These are NBA players, all with jersey numbers that are under the number 35. They are less than 35. I will give you the team and the player. You give me the jersey number as quickly as you can. 30 seconds on the clock. Uh, You do have one pass. You need to get four for the win. Any last-second questions? Uh, Nope. All right. Your time will start when you hear the horn. Tim Duncan, San Antonio Spurs. 21. Correct. Carl Malone, Utah Jazz. 32. Correct. Darko Milicic, Detroit Pistons. Two. Incorrect. R.J. Barrett, New York Knicks. Nine. Correct. Nick Collison, Oklahoma City Thunder. Five. Incorrect. Darko Milicic, Detroit Pistons. Ten. Incorrect. Nick Nick Collison, Oklahoma City Thunder. Nine. Incorrect. Darko Milicic, Detroit Pistons. Twelve. Incorrect. Nick Collison. You were getting so close. Darko wore number 13. I think you worked your way up to 12. Uh, Nick Collison wore number four. You said five and nine. So you, you you had the right area. I feel like you could see the jersey, but he wore number four. Uh, that's a brutal way to, to, to lose, but uh, unfortunately a tie goes to who goes first. So, uh, so, Lewis, you are not the winner, but hopefully you had some fun playing. Oh, no problem, man. Go, Pat, go, Matt. <laughs> there you go. Yes, uh, Matt and Gardner, you are the winner. Congratulations. Sounds good. Thank you. There you go. Uh, sit on the line, and Dennis will get the uh, the info he needs to make sure you get your tickets, okay? All righty. All right. Whew. Competitive. Yeah, a lot more competitive than yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Look, fair, fairly obvious on that one. We've, You know what? I don't – sometimes I do feel like we get too wrapped up in going for perfect scores – a well played 3 3, 4 3. You get some, there's some left out there. You know, it was, it was, uh, that was, that was a well played round. Kudos to both sides. And shout out to William the Refrigerator Perry. Uh, you forget he went to Clemson. Uh, but it is a, uh, he was one of their, uh, he was one of their, their main troops there for, for a while. Uh, one of their main alum, I guess you should say, for for a while. That 85 Bears team was definitely fun. S- side note, this is just me talking. This is just me saying things, which it usually is. Uh, 
Kind of messed up that William the Refrigerator Perry got a rushing touchdown in the Super Bowl when they won it, and Walter Payton didn't. Does feel like Walter Payton should have gotten a uh, should have got a touchdown in that that deal, um, but he got the ring, so I, I guess it's all good. Uh, <laughs> uh, the drive with Tim Donnelly, ninety nine nine, the fan. We are getting ready to talk some uh, some canes coming up here in just a couple of minutes. So one more reminder that you can catch that game right here on ninety nine nine, the fan. It is a hockey night in Carolina, and I keep emphasizing this because uh, it will not be on the Bally's app. It is a ESPN Hulu game. So if you are somebody that that is not subscribed to ESPN or Hulu for live sports, but you are subscribed to Bally's, unfortunately, you're not going to have a way to watch the game unless you go to a bar or something. Uh, so if you if you want to listen in, this would be right here. 99.9 The Fan would be the place to uh, to catch it. And it will be the only place to catch Mike Maniscalco, Trip Tracy, and, and the broadcast crew. So if, if you like hearing from those guys, uh, you're going to need to be tuned in to 99.9 The Fan. And it's a little bit later, so don't tune in at 6.30 and not hear Stormwatch and think we're, we're messing up. Uh, Stormwatch starts at 7, and then the, the puck drop will be at 7.30. I think I said all that right. I think I passed all that along correctly. Uh, so if, if, you, uh, if you were paying attention, you should be good to go. Uh, in the meantime... Dennis has something he wants to pass along to us. I know you just mentioned Carolina Hurricanes. By the way, Dennis Cox here with my friends over at Law Tigers. At Law Tigers. The Law Tigers, Tobacco Road, Harley Davidson, Shiny Side Paint, your Carolina Hurricanes, they're all teaming up together to give the Ultimate Canes fan a custom Hurricanes 2023 Harley Davidson soft tail motorcycle. By the way, if you want to watch the Canes in action tonight, I know you're talking about, you know, where you can watch the game. If you actually want to watch the game tonight, come to the Carolina Ale House in Garner. Canes have their watch party there tonight. The bike is going to be there. The third annual Caniacs bike will be on display at the Carolina Ale House in Garner tonight. Swing on by. Come see the bike. I will be there as well. Come talk some hockey. Come talk sports with me. I'll be there as well. Come watch the game, but come see the bike. But if you want to win this bike, you're running out of time here, folks. It's going to be given away on April 5th. So what you need to do is enter today. Go to Caniacs bike.com again caniacsbike.com that's your way to enter for this chance to win this custom painted beauty of a bike caniacsbike.com by the way the fan base has shown out for for trying to win this bike just kind of show your passion as a fan base well over 20,000 entrants well over and there's another uh another professional hockey team down in the uh, state of Texas that's also trying to do this but guess what they just took a bike it took a motorcycle and just slapped some stickers on it, it was like oh yeah custom bike no 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 this one's actually truly custom painted it's a one of a kind type thing law tigers north carolina's motorcycle lawyers law tigers is a network of independent law firms who are members of the american association of motorcycle injury lawyers law tigers is not a law firm the drive with tim donnelly 99.9 the fan canes at islanders we preview it coming up in just a few minutes at bet 365 they don't do ordinary they believe that every sport should be epic every point every game every layup every play from the moments that are legendary to the ones that fly under the radar whether it's a three-pointer at the buzzer to tie the game or a player goes two for two at the free throw line whatever the sport whatever the moment it's never ordinary at bet 365 official partner of the charlotte hornets 21 plus only gambling problem call 1-877-718-5543 or visit more than a game.nc.gov the smarter Introducing the new Swiffer Power Mop, the all-in-one tool that gives you a mop and bucket clean in half the time. The solution's built right in, so no heavy bucket, and the pad has hundreds of scrubbing strips to get deep into grout. Don't mop harder, mop smarter. Swiffer Power Mop, Swiffer Power Mop. Imagine waking up this time next week and being 100% debt-free. No credit cards, no car loan, no personal loan. Hey, it's Dennis Cox. Loan Pronto's Equity Express line of credit can make it happen. Homeowners are turning their home equity into cash almost instantly. With Loan Pronto's AI-based system, you can get approval in about 10 minutes. With almost no documentation, no appraisal, and no hassle, you can get hundreds of thousands of dollars out of your home. Use that money to pay off all your other loans. The average homeowner saves over $850 a month doing this. Listen, 
Your home value is way up. You can use that to wipe out all those credit cards, get some money for a home improvement. Literally hundreds of thousands are at your fingertips, and approval is just minutes away. Call 919-381-1760, 919-381-1760, loanpronto.com, 919-381-1760, NMLS 1661781, subject to lender approval, equal housing lender. This hour of the drive brought to you by the, tu- the Dugout Tavern and Grill number one sports bar in Apex, and your March Hoops headquarters. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. The Canes at Islanders tonight. It was funny, um, Victoria, who who produces the Adam Gold Show before this one, this one, uh, I saw her for the first time kind of like in, in our little cubicle area earlier today and um, for the first time in a while. And she was like, hey, how's the trip? Because we were in D.C. last week. We didn't see each other. I said it was good. I said it was like around here. Right, because obviously I talked about the basketball. She got to talk about the the Hurricanes hockey that was taking place around here, and it was basically like she said it was awesome. I went to the game. I was like, well, whichever one you went to, it was awesome for a different reason because they were all pretty darn cool, but they were very different. There was the four zero win um, against the Florida Panthers, which is awesome for being against the Florida Panthers for being a shutout for scoring four goals. Then there's the the Toronto game, which was awesome for the comeback, was awesome for the cohesion, was awesome for the, the uh, um, um, what am I thinking of, shootout winner by Gensel, as well as the two goals and late in regulation by Ajo. Then there was the, the what was it, the Ottawa game, which was awesome because they scored 900 goals. And and now you play the Islanders tonight. What do you, what do you, what's this one? Every game has its own flavor, right? They're, they're good. They've been good. They've been solid, they've been exciting, they've been satisfying, but they've been different. So what did we see this time? What are we, 1-0? What are we going, 1-0? What, what are we oh, going? What, a nice, what about a nice solid 3-1? A 3-1, run-of-the-mill, ho-hum, business-like, you business know, trip. Go up to, to New York come and, and, and punch you know, the clock. Like take the train in, right? Get the newspaper. Oh, let's go. Get the newspaper, read talking. on the train, go full business. Everybody wear suits in there. There you go. The Islanders, we just talked about them not long ago. Uh, you know, the way I'm describing them is they are like double stamp, a triple stamp, middle of the pack. They, they've they they've been middle of the pack so long this season that they have like name tags. They say, hi, my name is Noah Dobson and I'm middle of the pack. Uh, it's it's aprons like Home Depot, right, that, that say, hi, I'm middle of the pack. Uh, they are they are middle in the metropolitan. They are middle in the east. They are middle in the the NHL. Uh, middle in goals allowed. Middle in goals scored. They're just right there in the middle. The Canes are trying to be elite at just about everything, right? The past few years and into this year, they've been elites talent wise, scheme wise, at preventing goals. At the trade deadline, they made two big moves. Uh, to to make themselves hopefully closer to elite on the other end, right? The forwards, the attack, the goal scoring. Goalie. Pyotr Kochekov, Freddie Anderson, you know, a little do do little you, then me, then me, then you, then you, then me. Look like they're getting pretty darn close to elite. So how do they continue working? How do they continue getting their team closer to where they want to be in the postseason. Because that's that's all the 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 Canes games for the foreseeable future are all about what we talked about yesterday, what we talked about earlier today, what we're gonna talk about tomorrow. It's about continuing to like steal over fortify the roster for the battles that lie ahead in the postseason. Right? You want to know that Gensel can bail you out with a well-timed goal. And you want to have seen it happen, right? Because it's one thing to know he can, right? 
that they can the, the the Canes can bring up YouTube clips of the Pittsburgh Penguins and they can go this guy could really save us in a couple of these and they could do the same with 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 Kuzi with Kuznetsov right they they could they could look they could look up stats that would uh, they could go to um uh pro hockey reference and they could bring up their their stats and they could look it all up and they can try to convince themselves but there's something for just seeing it right you could have Niagara Falls as your screensaver, or you could drive on up to Buffalo, right? They need to see the falls. Gensel, the Koozie, they've played well, right? But also the opposite is true too, right? Guess what Guess what? those two were introduced to in the Toronto game? Super clutch, Ajo. They saw it, right? Firsthand, up close and personal. They were there. Tonight's another opportunity for you to see something that builds trust in both directions. Tonight is another opportunity to put yourself in, a, in as many different situations as you can and, and to see how each other react. And it's also an opportunity for you to learn to see if there's a string you need to pull. Right? I, I use this as my example because, and I've said it on air a bunch of times, but I think it's funny. I was the holder in college. I was a guy that held for field goal kicks. Mm-hmm. And underrated I, position, by the way. Oh, it's thank you. Thank you. We 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 do we don't ask for praise. It's part of our handbook. <laughs> um but I knew my kicker like the back of my hand. I could look at him as we're jogging out onto the field and know if he needed a joke, know if he needed a uh word of encouragement, knew if he needed absolute sometimes he needed me to stick to myself, right? Like, don't look at me until you're asking me if I'm ready to kick. Sometimes he needed a song, right? He needed to loosen up. I'd sing a little Toby Keith Made in America because that was on the, the, the loudspeakers when we warmed up before the games. I was okay making a fool of myself to an audience of one on the middle of the field. You need to learn that about your teammates, right? Does Gensel ever need a kick in the rear? Does Kuzi every uh, Kuzi is great energy, by the way. He is happy go lucky. If he scores a goal, he's doing the he's doing the bird dance. He's feeling the flow, right? I feel like Kevin Nealon and Happy Gilmore doing the horsey dance, feeling the flow. Like like but does he ever need to be reined in? Does he ever need somebody to, you know, tap him on the shoulder and go, hey, lock it up? They can all use these games to make sure all of that side of things is completely ironed out by the time you get to the postseason. You don't want to get to the postseason, right, lose a game by by one and then go, you know, I think I, I just needed to rein them in a little bit. And it's like, yeah, well, that's great. <laughs> we'll discuss in Cancun. Like, you, you, don't, you don't want that to be how your season goes. You want to get all that ironed out. Now tonight's another opportunity. And it's also another chance for every single one of these guys. Like, for example, my guess is the lines are going to be the same, so it's be Ajo, Jarvis, mm-hmm. and, and Gensel together. Okay, another chance for you guys to play together. Figure each other out on the ice, all right? I know where, where you're going to be on the ice in certain situations. I know what you're trying to get to, all those kinds of things. It's it, just repetitions together. I'll, I'll bring up the analogy again. How many times do you take as a quarterback – throwing passes to a wide receiver to know exactly what they're going to do on a certain route. Like, how many reps did it take? Hundreds, right? And and it's not even just that. It's also, like, just spending time around them to exactly. know what a nod means or a wink means or, mm-hmm. or a look means. That, that All those kinds of things. Like, all right, I know oh, you're looking to pass here. I know you're looking to drive to and, the net. And hockey is more like basketball or soccer or some of these other kind of continuous sports. Mm-hmm. Like, football, I could usually, you know, I'd look at them, and, and if – I could tell we weren't on the same page. I could always just hand signal or I could go like easy, easy and run over there and talk to him. Hockey, sometimes it's a fat, like if you're on a fast break, it's a glance. It might not even be a glance. It might be a, a body movement of any kind and you got to pick up on it. All of that just gets added to and added to and built up every single day, little bit by little bit by little bit. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. I want to tell you about my friends over at Gordon Miller and Miller Lending. They are the home of the no-cost loan. Uh, When you close on a mortgage with Miller Lending, this is one way to describe it. The numbers they give you, right? They give you the 
um, the sheet and they have the the 30 years and all the charts and this is how much you'll pay this is how much you'll interest and if you upped your payment by a hundred dollars it would come down it would save you this much in the long run all those numbers right that's just your next payment not your forever payment that's based on the interest rate that you agree to when you sign your mortgage when you close on a mortgage with with gordon miller and miller lending they they let you know that's just your next payment because who knows if rates drop by next month refinance no closing costs no cash out of your pocket get that rate down your your payment will be less and if they drop again three months from now and if they drop again six months from now keep doing it because it's not costing you costs and fees every time you do it that's why they call it a no closing cost loan and gordon's been doing them since 1987 if you're interested if you want to make sure you're prepared for for rates to drop Give them a call, 919-447-3377. That is 919-447-3377. Or as always, you can go online at MillerLending.com to learn more. That is MillerLending.com. Miller Lending is an equal housing lender, and MLS number 250-2146. By the way, real quick, we know we talked about the Carolina Hurricanes just a, bit, a minute ago. The, you're going to hear them, obviously, on the fan tonight. It's a 730 puck drop. It's a national TV broadcast, so if you want to hear Mike and Trip on the call, you got to tune in here on the fan. 7.30 puck drop, which means Stormwatch with Adam Gold is at 7 o'clock here tonight on the fan. If you want basketball action, because we do have first four games in yep. Dayton today, including Virginia, go ACC. I know Wagner and Howard play each other in a battle of 16 seeds to see who would face actually North Carolina on Thursday down in Charlotte. Those are going to be over on Buzz Sports Radio. So if you want to listen to basketball, that's going to be on Buzz Sports Radio tonight. So a little bit of a programming note for all the folks out there. As I said at the beginning of the week, and I will continue to remind you, we are doing everything we can to bring you as many live sports that matter to you yes. on our family of networks, mm -hmm. uh, just like we always do. But this week is one of the more complicated and busy ones. And then tomorrow night, because there's no Canes action, we will have the first four games in Dayton. The Wednesday games will be right here on The Fan tomorrow night as well so we got tons of stuff for, for you as well and also tipping off at noon on thursday ncaa tournament boom right here on the fan boom right here on the fan on thursday um we have overdrive coming up next correct we do have overdrive coming up. what here. are we leading off with we are actually going to be rediscussing the clemson conversation Ooh, clemson. because you know they annoyed us today Clemson is is they suing, annoyed us today. Is suing the ACC, and we had words earlier. Catch those coming up to start overdrive. Those were some of the words. Catch those words to start overdrive coming up next. In thirty seconds. In the meantime, you have a, a little bit of time to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Right, ninety nine nine the fan. Search for it. Subscribe to it. You can catch all of the our conversations that you miss both during the drive. And overdrive, they live online on uh, on ninety nine nine the fan on our uh, our YouTube page, and and we're we're still uh, aiming for that ten thousand subscriber mark. So please help us get there. Tell your friends, and enjoy overdrive coming up next. Whether you're moving into a new home or sprucing up your outdoor space. Get more done with the versatility of the Steel Combi System Multitasking Tool. The Steel KMA ADR Combi Motor is compatible with up to 14 different powerhead attachments, allowing you to trim, edge, cultivate, and more. Right now, save $50 on the battery-powered KMA ADR Combi Motor with AK30 battery, AL101 charger, and line trimmer attachment. Real steel. Find yours at steeldealers.com. Offer valid for a limited time only while supplies last. Additional attachments sold separately. See participating dealer for details. Hey, North Carolina. It's Victoria Vodnecker here for BetMGM, and they want you to happily root for some upsets with BetMGM. Download the BetMGM app or log into your existing account to spin the March matchups wheel and receive a 10 through 16 seed team for the tournament. If your squad makes it to the final 16, you'll win a share of $100,000 in bonus bets. The best part? The game is free to play. BetMGM has arrived in North Carolina just in time for every big tournament moment. Enjoy same game parlays, signature bets, live bets, and so much more with the BetMGM app. Make sure to spin the March matchups wheel before the tournament begins and see which college squad you're riding with. If your team goes on a run and is one of 16 left, you'll split $100,000 in bonus bets with any other winners. Only at BetMGM, the king